morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Tuesday, July 26th. Welcome to my desk. Welcome to my desk. I could not get everything I want to do today in the title of my stream. <sighs> Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. This is Mary at the Mary Atelier. And yes, I've been I've been exploring the secret closet again. There are boxes of books in there. I hope I'm not boring you. I'm going to take most of these boxes of books upstairs. Yeah, but I'm exploring them. I think I'm into a box of children's books now. My mother did like children's books. She was always buying books. And thank gosh, thank God, <laughs> thank gosh too, thank God that my brother did not throw these books away. You know, he had the foresight, I guess you could say, to keep them. So we're going to explore. We're going to explore these, and I'm going to take them upstairs, I believe, because I'm going to clean out that little secret room and put art stash in there. Yeah. Okay. So let me get out here and set up my channel so I can welcome folks in. And you're just going to stare at the box for a minute. I want to, I was in Dee Dee's room. Hi, Rhonda. Good morning, Rhonda. Good morning, Rhonda. Aw. How are you this morning? I hope you're doing well. Yeah. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for popping in so early in the morning. All you early birds <laughs> put up with me this early in the morning. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, Penelope jumped in this box, so let's just put her here. I'm going to go through this box first and then get this off of my floor. So um, I'm zoomed out as far as I can zoom. Maybe I'll take this box and put it on my chair and let me, because I'm going to be standing up doing this anyway. And then the box will be empty and I can, well, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. The tall book of nursery tales. It's not in good condition. The spine is coming off. This would be a fun one to alter. The tall book of nursery tales. And it looks like there's some art already in here. I love to see the children's scratches. Uh, the book is not in good condition, so I don't think it would be a collectible. Uh, but look at this. Look at this. Look at these illustrations. Harper and Brothers. It says Linda on here. L-I-N-D-A. Linda was my oldest sister's name, so I'm pretty sure this came from my mother. And look, the tape, the old, I'm just going to lift this up because it's fallen out anyway. Look at the old tape on here. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. We're doing more, more books. I'm thinking this book was one that my mother read to my oldest sister. There's Little Red Riding Hood in there. Um. I want to kind of hold it up so you guys can see it. Uh, let me tip my camera just a little. I don't want you guys to see my see my shirt. You'll you'll see the curtain up here. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, this is a one. I was going to look for a date. My sister was born in 45. Christmas 45. Oh no, because this says Doreen Dover from John and Curl, Christmas of 45. I cannot read all of this. I cannot read all this, but my my sister was born in 45. Oh, look at this. 
the contents are in pictures. Oh my goodness, copyright is 1944 by the Artists and Writers Guild. Look at that. They made the contents, they put pictures in little squares for the contents. And here's Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Aw, isn't she cute? She's awful short to that big tree. All right. The Ugly Duckling. See, it's got, it's got art already in here. But these are wonderful illustrations. The swan. There's the three bears. Little Red Riding Hood. The Little Red Hen. Oh, wonderful illustrations. But the Artist Guild, you would think they'd have good illustrations. The Straw, the Coal, and the Bean. The Three Wishes. I might have to catch up on my nursery rhyme, my nursery stories. The Goose That Laid the Golden Egg. Well, I think I found a golden egg. I'm going to keep this one out for to alter because it's not in good shape. It's got masking tape on here for the binding. And uh, I'm intrigued that about with the center of that. All right. Who's coming in that I'm missing? Kimberly and Rhonda. Again, good morning to the lurkers out there who are just opening their eyes and welcoming a new day. Welcome to a new day. I'm sure what's in this box are mostly children's books. Cowboys and Indians. A giant golden book. Cowboys and Indians. New York stories by Catherine and Byron Jackson. Now, copyright is 1948. Contents. These are the people on the ranch. The bear, more really nice illustrations. The new outfit, Cowboys and Indians. Jack and the Beanstalk, more masking tape here on the, this looks fairly new, masking tape. Rand McNally, the giant book. Well, that's not the copyright date. The copyright date is MCM LXI. So 19 LXI would be, what, 61? L would be 50, X 10 and 1. I think this is the 1951 or 61 book. LXI, might be 1951. It's a little bit newer book. Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah. This is, what do people do all day? The grocery, the butcher, the bakery. This one's a newer one, too. Oh, but look at what they've done. Given by Mrs. Hanthorne, the fifth grade teacher of Sutton Elementary School at the baby shower given by the school fac faculty in 11 of 74. This one is a newer one, but look at all the characters here. They got a farmer, a mayor, a Captain Salty. Look at all these characters. 
Oh, these these are wonderful. A voyage on a ship. Oh, the train trip. Ah, let's get let's be a kid again. Welcome to Busy Town. Oh, this is an older one. Ooh. Brainerd's new method of organ. Oh, it's an organ book. This is an older one. Oh, look at this. Oh, stapled. New method by... For the reed organ. New method for the reed organ. I don't see a copyright date. Whoops, excuse me for... I do not see a copyright date, but this one is old. Look at this. And you can't see the lighting. The lighting is making these pages look a lot lighter than they are. They are a pretty... They are... Let's put that there there are they are a very aged color my goodness sakes i don't see a date it's for reed organ all right those are the longer books we got billy whisker at the fair And this looks older, too. These books are not in good shape. It doesn't have a copyright date on it. It says made in the USA, New York, Chicago, Akron, Ohio. And I don't think they're... they're an illustration there. <laughs> oh, how cute is that? I'll have to, I haven't talked to my brother yet about these books. I'll have to see what he wants to do with them. Um, they're going upstairs for a while. This is a newer one, Nebraska History, 1954. <laughs> newer. It's what, 50, 70, 73 years old? We're calling it new. This is all about Nebraska history. The State Historical Society, March of 1954. That doesn't look like Nebraska, though. They've got Looks like they've got part of Wyoming and Montana up in here. Popular sovereignty, the Constitution progress. That's interesting. I hope I'm not boring you guys with these books. Here's the Nebraska, Be Nebraska Beautiful Bulletin. Conservation and Survey Division of the University. Just uh, oh, and we've got Heidi. The thrift store in Nelson, May of nineteen eighty six. So I know this came from my mother because Nelson was a town close to where they lived. And this is stuck onto here. I'm just going to leave it stuck. It's a fleur-de-lis. It's Heidi. It's all about Heidi. I don't see a date. And I don't see a... This is just a fly page in here. It's just print. Heidi. Robin Hood. Ooh, I love these illustrations in here. These are silhouettes. 
The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. Printed by the in, in, by printed in the United States of America. They don't give a copyright. Contents. Contents are written paragraphs. Epilogue. The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. Prologue. Few illustrations in it. I'm guessing maybe the late 40s, early 50s. Everyday Life Primer. Ethel Maltby Gar Garris. Nice little silhouette of a girl with a kitty. Property of School District 75 in Dewey's, 1936. Copyright is 1935. Oh, look at this. Ruth gave Tabby some milk. Tabby wanted some milk. These are photographs. Tabby called her kittens, and Tabby ran to find her kittens. This is all about the kitty and the dogs. These are photographs. That's interesting. 1936 was in the middle of the Depression. Look at these period clothes. They probably thought that was, you know, the thing to have these photographs in here rather than illustrations. The index. Oh, it's a word list. Word list. Everyday Life Primer. The Olsen Readers, book two. <laughs> well, it's just Kimberly and Ron. Oh, there's Jill. Good morning, Jill. Kimberly, Rhonda, and Jill. Mary, the illustrations are so adorable in those you don't see that kind anymore no you don't cute books um i'm gonna leave them oh look at this fly page Isn't that interesting this belongs to property of fairfield public schools fairfield is a town close to here look at i don't know if you can see there are real fine vertical lines here Oh, these are dots here. These are dots. They're not vertical lines. They're dots. You can, you can, hard, there you can see them. Book two, Scott Forsman and Company. Well, these companies are no longer around either. I love this kind of illustration. I'd say this is a 1930s, 1940s book. Look at these illustrations. And we're about halfway through the box here. We're into the smaller books. The Health Stories, book two. Currently, Curriculum Foundation Series. This looks to be like a 1954, maybe, 1950s. Because this reminds me of Dick and Sally, Tom, Dick and Sally. Is that how it goes? Tom, Dick and Sally, Jane, Dick, Jane, and Sally. Copyright is 1934. I was only off by 20 years. I got the foods. What did I say? 1934. Uh, Fact and Story Readers, book two. I can tell you these companies are no longer around. Well, we'll say this is a 1930s book, too. Look at this. Book two by Harry George Catherine. I'm not going to read all the names. Uh, I don't see a date. I love the border. See, you can get inspired in here. Here's a date. Copyright is 19... 1930 American Book Company more of these type of 
illustrations. To keep clean, I should brush my teeth. Not brush my teeth, take a bath twice a week, or forget to take a bath. <laughs> Good health rules. The Wind. Wonderful books. Here's a speller. The Horn Bow. Horn Bow? Horn Bow Dysart Speller. The University Public Publishing Company. A-R-X-T-C. Book 2. 1931. It's a speller book. I'm altering a spelling book that I got. Where did I get that? I don't I bought it someplace. Some book sale. This one looks like to be a little bit earlier. Property of Nelson Public Schools. Alice, Jerry, and Jack. 1957. And Fact and Story Readers. This is probably another 1930s. It looks like, did I show you this one? Looks like there's another reader in here. Fact and, is this a duplicate? <gasps> I have a duplicate book. Woohoo, that means I can alter one. These are duplicates. Fact and Story Readers, book two. Book two, I'm going to keep that out. We'll look up and see if it's got any value, but it's not in good shape. It's not in good shape. You see the spine's all coming off, so I'll keep that one for me. Uh, Nelson Gray, Basic Reader, Book 5. Oh, I love these. Copyright is 31, 1931. It's a reading book. Grandmother's Trip to Naples. It's got some stickiness in here. Somebody was reading it while they're eating a cookie. How candy mints are made. Aladdin or the Wonderful Lamp. Interesting. Now this one might have some value. Huckleberry Finn. I love these silhouettes. I'm zoomed in quite a bit, but let me zoom out a little bit more. There. Welcome to everybody out there in in uh, <laughs> in the internet watching in Lurkdom. While I'm showing these, this one feels like a little bit newer. Junior Deluxe Edition. Feels like it might be a 1954 or so. This edition is published by arrangement with Harper and Row. They're still in business. I still don't see a copyright date though. Nelson Doubleday. They're still in business. I like how they do the contents. I don't see a copyright date. This might have a little value. I'm guessing 1940s or could be even 1960s. I don't know. Our Country Begins. A furlong history book. It's got some scotch tape in here. Old scotch tape. New York, Chicago, a book of the Furlong History Series. No, no copyright date. You might be able to find it online. I'm guessing 1930s or 40s. Some computer green bar. Somebody was reading this. Probably my mother. I'd bring home that paper from 
class. I took a computer programming class, but that doesn't mean that it was 70s. Let's see. Little Lord, Little Lord Fauntleroy. This looks like a newer book. I'm getting stacked up. Linda Jackson. I love the illustrations. Uh, it looks like the same illustration as in some of those other books. That horse looks familiar. Again, no copyright date. Illustrated by Peter. Wait. Printed in the United States of America. I don't see a copyright date. It's just... Huh. That's interesting. They were probably not that concerned with copyright back in those days because books were not that easy to come by. Let's see, I'm going to take some of these. and This one I'm going to keep out. It's a duplicate. Here's another book, Gulliver Travels. These could be 1940 or 50s. They feel newer. Gulliver Travels. No copyright date, though. Huh, isn't that interesting? Oh, no, no copyright, just the company name. Maybe they didn't put copyrights in children's books. They feel newer. They could be 40s or 50s. Look at Black Beauty. That might have some value. I like we think about value. Don Dickman Family. I love this book plate. It's got it's got old scotch tape around it. No copyright dates. Oh, here's one. Illustrated copyright M C M L I V 1954. So these are night I'm going to say these are all 1950s books. Here, probably the 1950s. Got one more in here. Ooh, Aladdin's lamp. Oh, look at this illustration. Oh my goodness sakes. I love how they've done this. And it's got masking tape in there to hold the spine on. The Enchanted Schoolhouse, 1956. 1956. How cool is that? <laughs> the wee man keeps his promise. So that's the last one. It's so fun going through these books. I'm going to have to talk to my brother. He, he's going to say, where are you going to put them? Up there. I'm going to say, I don't know, but I'll find a spot. <laughs> He'll go, huh. <laughs> I say, well, I need room in there. You said I could have this room. Well, I didn't mean the closet, too. <laughs> I'm calling that little closet the secret room. Now, I'm just going to pile these books back in here and I'll take care of them when. I'll take care of them. Some of these might have a little value. I I don't think too many of them would. My mother loved to my mother loved books. And she she loved to read. She only had a seventh grade education, but she loved to read. She knew the value of books. Let me get these off my desk. How'd she get them all in there? <laughs> I don't know. These big ones. This one might have some value, but it's not in good shape. It, you know, the value of books depends on the shape and the condition of them. I love the illustrations in them, though. 
This one I might keep. I don't know. The Tall Book of Nursery Tales. No, I'll put it in the box. The only one I'm going to keep out is the duplicate. Oh, now I can sit down. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I would say there's maybe five, maybe six more boxes in that room. I hope I'm not boring you guys by going through all of those. Let me get my tea over here. I was going to go up to the Goodwill bins today, but I didn't sleep that good last night, so I probably will stay home. I was gone Sunday. I was gone yesterday morning. Uh, it's probably time for me to stay home a little. And I got to adjust this camera. Maybe move it up a little. If I can bend that up anymore and let it stay. No, we want it down. Sorry, I'm I'm adjusting the things here. Ow. Not boring. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, you guys, I watched Johnny, what was it, Sunday night? She streamed showing her studio box. These are Tim Holtz stuff here, field note stuff. And she she's doing the junk drawer studio box and I had accidentally I thought she was showing it the other day but she was showing she had two more July ones to sell and I'd already I'd already bought the July one but I thought she was showing the August one and I ordered it and then I went into panic mode <laughs> and she was during my Sunday night stream she was streaming and showing the August one and she was so sweet. She saved me one because she knew I wanted it. And I didn't see everything that she put in the box. She went through it all. But right at the very end, you'll have to watch her video. Or uh, at, Right at the very end, she put a ledger in every studio box. That ledger alone is worth the studio box. And she had these, she called them rusty pans. Rest round rusty pans, you know. <laughs> I don't know where she she got them from. Some place Rosemary found them, and so I'm going. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> so I can't wait to get my studio box. She saved. She knew I wanted one. She saved one back for me. No, Kathy Berg again this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, and I need to tell you, last Thursday, I was thinking Kathy Berg was coming on. It was Colleen at Scrap Chip. So I can go late this morning. Kathy, uh, Kimberly's telling me I can go late this morning. I'll go probably until about 945 because my brother turns the TV on at 10. Um, but I can't go late on Thursday mornings. And if I start to do that, you guys say, Mary, Scrap Chick's coming on. I, I forgot. I was thinking Kathy Berg was on both days, but it was Scrap Chick. See, Scrap Chick has altered between Friday and Thursday mornings. She goes back and forth. <laughs> so I can go late this morning, but not Thursday morning. And thank you for telling me that, Kimberly. Mary Berry. Good morning. People buy books for different reasons, Mary says. Sometimes a person is sentimental. I think you could probably sell all of them. Do you think? Well, I, I'm i going to be judicious of the ones I'm keeping out. Like this one is not in good condition. The spine is torn here. And this is a duplicate. So this one, I this is the only one out of that box that I kept out for me. Because I want to I want to talk to my brother and uh, see what he wants to do with them. Because they're really... They are really 
his, in, in a way they're his. But he won't sell them. It will be me. If they're sold, it will be me that has to get out there and sell them. You know, I could. Here's the thing. I could. YouTube is had previously up to this year, just recently, you had to have 10,000 subscribers to have a merchant shelf uh, to be, have access to where you could sell your own stuff. And they'll probably take, I don't, I don't know how much they take out of it, but they'd probably take a percent. But I was thinking I could put some of these books out there and, or I, I'm just not sure if I want to do that or not, but I could also put some of his pop can airplanes out there, or I could just any place that you put on the internet other than your own, your own website is going to take a percentage. You know, Etsy will take a percentage. Uh, I don't know the different percents that they'll take, but eBay will take a percentage. Any place on the internet that you put stuff to sell that's not hosted by yourself will take a percent. If I would go to um, uh, go to a craft fair or some sort of an antique fair or even try to sell it through an antique mall or something like that. They take, everybody takes their cut. So I kind of expect that. And we could have a garage sale here. Now I could just offer them in a video, do, you know, a separate video. And I don't think YouTube could take a percent if I just say, I have this book for sale and do it in a video, and then promote the video. I don't know if that would, you know, put it in a playlist or something. It would, People would have to find it. List them by title. Rhonda says, I don't think I could sell them. <laughs> oh. Mary Berry, good morning. Garage sale. Yeah, but we're in a small town. Um, garage sales here uh, because of where we are located. We're not in a big community. So there's not a lot of people passing by and everything. Uh, I'd have to be, I think, in a larger city to get any type of interest. I think some of these came from garage sales. <laughs> well, they came from thrift stores. My mother, my mother had the thrift bug. I'll tell you, she there's a place in the town where she well she didn't live. It was close. She lived out in well she lived in a small town, um, but it was really small. They lived down by the Little Blue River, and they had what they called the bargain bin. It was run by the church ladies. And uh, she loved to go there on Fridays. And I have an idea. She got a lot of these books from garage sales and thrifting. But this was a duplicate. So I I, I feel okay using this one. I'm not going to do anything to it right now. I'm just keeping it out. Hi, Anne. Good morning, Anne. Why sell it at all? Yeah, that's true. I'll take them upstairs. Um. I think I'll, before I take the books upstairs, I'll make a list of what's in each box. Inventorium, so to speak. That won't be too hard. Uh, and uh, what will probably happen is those, if I take them upstairs, they'll stay upstairs until my brother and I are gone and we'll leave them to my nephew's family to sell them. <laughs> Uh, that's probably what will happen to him. Uh, I, uh, my brother would be interested in selling them, but I know him. He thinks they're more valuable than they are. You know, he he uh, he has a hard time letting go of things. So why sell them at all? We'll just take them upstairs. They have kind of a sentimental value to me because they were my mother's. I'm pretty sure these came from my mother's house. And good morning, Carol. 
better idea, do a book sale like this. You can show the books as part of a demo and illustration drawings and ask who wants to buy it on doing. Yeah, we could do that. Just, yeah, we could do that. Um, I'd have to probably set a base price. I'd have to talk to my brother first. But he has already said, he said to me, and that's the reason I'm going through this little secret room back there, is he said, uh, he said he didn't care about stuff in there. But I know once I get out and start showing him stuff, he'll care. <laughs> he, 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 uh, there's, uh, oh, well, there's that Coke collection that belonged to his significant other. He has a hard time and he always, he wants more money than what, I'm personally, I think it's worth. Hi, Terry L. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome in. You're up early. You're up early. Good morning. Yeah, then I have to go to the post office. <laughs> That's true. That's true. If I had a sale, I would have to, you know, if I took somebody's money, happy mail, I do not take anybody's money. But if I had a sale and took your money, I, I would not put it off. I would, I, I would probably go as soon as I could get there because, you know, that wouldn't be right. Happy mail, you know, happy mail is happy mail. If I don't get it out for three years, I don't care. Well, probably be five years by the time I get it out. So that's a that's my perspective on getting to the post office. Um, I've kind of stopped doing happy mail because of my 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 lack of going to the post office. Well, actually, my brother goes to the post office. He picks up the mail every day. Uh, I, it's not my job here to do that. Uh, and I like for him to do that because it gets him out every day. Books ship at a low rate. Yeah, they, they ship at a book rate, don't they? And speaking of ship, uh, book rate shipping, I have some happy mail here. This, I think is from Lisa. It come from Conroe, Texas. I think this might be from Lisa. Let's open this. This is Happy Mail. Lisa, little dog, she posted, or she called Tanya. Her little dog, she had to take the little dog to the veterinarian. Her little dog got sick. So let's keep Lisa's little, I think it's Spiro, S-P-E-R-O. Let's see what she says here. Dear Mary. Let's see if it's from Lisa. No. Oh, it's from Jamie. Oh, I was con... Jamie's down in Texas. Oh, this is from APG Jamie. She says, Dear Mary. She knows I'm going to read this online. First, I hope you like the stuff in the pockets. I had fun doing this and thinking about ways to re represent summer for a swap I was in and the theme worked double for it and the hashtag fourth art Saturday hashtag mail hop. Oh, that is coming up this Saturday. Jamie is in the hashtag fourth art Saturday. I did not get the links out. I just, I lost track of my days last week. I did not, they were all ready. Everybody was ready. Everybody had their videos ready. Everybody was ready to schedule it out. And Mary, I do the links every month. And uh, I didn't get the links to them. So I put it off to this Saturday. But the theme is mail. So this is, Jamie, 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 this is, maybe I'll use this Saturday. Maybe I'll use what she sent in the introduction to the stream. The theme is mail. So, ta-da, Jamie is so sweet. Jamie, Jamie gets her video, her and Tanya and Janet, uh, Diane, Roy, um, Sylvia, 
those are the one the people in the swap who are are faithful they get their videos in there you know the but jamie jamie and tanya are are the first i mean they work ahead i'm just going wow <laughs> they are i i just call them a plus students <laughs> I don't like the grading system, but if I had to grade them, I'd give them both A pluses because, you know, they they're, they must have been loved by their teachers. That's all I can say. She says, now a bit about me. I'm now called elderly. Well, me too. But I don't think the early 60s is elderly. It's more classic, though, I can, though I'm not classy. Yes, you are classy. We're going to call APG Jamie the classy lady. I'm more of a blue jeans and t-shirt girl. Hold the phone. That does sound 60-ish, 1960-ish. Well, bless my heart. That's the Southern for the. Okay, back to me. Uh, that's what pocket letters were originally among the art community, a way of introducing yourself. Oh, I didn't know that. The pocket letters that you put in those baseball you know, the little pocket letter things. That was a way of introducing yourself and telling a little about yourself to someone who doesn't know you and for sharing an art and bits and bops. I have a few children, 15 grands and two great grands. Wow, that sounds cray cray. <laughs> now cray cray is 19, not 1960. Cray cray is probably 2020. I've been doing arts and crafts my whole life and poetry too. In fact, when I don't get to create or can't, I put on my gripey pants. I actually wore a pair for 15 years. Then I divorced him and tossed those pants in the dumpster. I don't really like those pants, but you know, if the blue jeans fit you, tend to wear them. So I'm a YouTube creator, APG Jamie. Um, would somebody put APG's, Jamie's uh, link to her channel in the chat? I know you guys all know her, but if anybody's, if anybody out there doesn't know her, they'll have a link if they're listening in. I was thinking this might be from Lisa, but this is from Jamie. But you know, if the blue jeans fit, you tend to wear them. I am a YouTube creator, APG Jamie. And I have the Instagram and Facebook too. See below for ID names. Um, well, I knew all that about her, but she's, she knew I would read this online. So she's introducing herself here. I've, I've met people from around the world. She's got around the word. <laughs> I love it. I like the phrase around the word. That's actually an interesting phrase. I've hugged a few too. Oh, the APG stands for artist poet girl. And a lot of friends say all purpose glue, which is sort of true too. <laughs> Andy Hoots, back to you. I really do hope you enjoy going through the pockets and are able to use or inspire, able to use or inspired to use the bits and bops in some of them. Thanks for being such a kind and encouraging member. Well, I think you're the kind and encouraging member in our art and community. I look forward to doing more hops with you and the gang. Peace, love, and harmony in all that you do, APG Jamie. And then she signs it. P.S. I'm sorry I couldn't get it to fit into the envelope. Well, I think you did great. And then she's got her YouTube APG Jamie. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate your dropping a link. So if you're listening in, if anybody is watching the replay, I'm sure that the people in here probably know Jamie, but uh, she's on Twitter at Artist Pose Girl. Instagram is APGG. APG is in George underscore Jamie J A M I E. She's on Facebook page at Artist Poet Girl AKA APG Jamie. Contact APG Jamie at gmail.com. 
So let's see what she said. I'm going to save this for next Saturday morning. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Oh, well, I won't touch her art. Here's a tag. She sent some bits and bops for me to use. So we'll just use them. What a wonderful thing you've done, Jamie. The Day at the Beach by APG Jamie. Wow. When on the wind there floated a yellow butterfly. I'll read that later. I don't know. She, she knows I'm going to show this, though. Oh, look at that picture. Jamie. Thoughts travel with us. Wow. And look, there's the two Tim Holtz, and these are all the thought, a thought cloud in here. They're thinking about they're thinking about thoughts. Oh, it's a postcard. Like laughter in the air. Oh, this is laughter in the air. Thoughts travel with us like laughter in the air. How cool is that? I won't be altering her things. I'll be I'll be using her little pieces. Bathing beauty, flower, beach, cones. These are words. I love these pictures. Look at these. Whoops, I need to come over a little. Here's some washi tape. On a on a card, I think. Some more words. Some more black and white photos. Look at these. Oh, these are wonderful. Thank you, Jamie. Oh. This is going in my nature book. Did she make these? I think these are stickers. These are going to go in my nature book. I'm going to keep those out. And then, oh. look, she sent some candy. Some haichu. I've never heard of haichu. And some tea. Some, some, this is food. Some hibiscus and some candy and a beautiful lady. Thank you so much, Jamie. I'm going to keep this out. All of this is going to be, I'll use this Saturday morning. We're, we are going to do a fourth art Saturday video hop. Oh, that's my Santa Claus. Um, fourth Art Saturday video hop, and the theme is mail. So we will be using this Saturday morning. i got to put it in a safe place. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is take and put it like this to keep it from falling off my cart. Okay, I also have another happy mail from Charlene, who is... I don't see her in the chats, but I see her in my Facebook group. Charlene is from Oregon. I'm going to save her. I'm sure her address is... I think, I'm sure I have it, but let's just see what she sent. She was helping... She and Allie Kay were helping me research that package of letters that I got from on from Keisha's sale his name was Norman I forget his last name but they had all his letters I bought a bundle of letters and I was we were researching his genealogy we were trying to find him online so I could get those letters back to his family and we think we found the family but I haven't got the chicken to contact I need to do that All right, let's see what she sent. Oh, I think it's a magazine. She sent me a magazine. Hold on. A couple magazines. Oh, needle craft ones. I'm going to have to zoom out. Oh, Charlene. Let's see. There's something else in here. There's this. Make sure that... All right, that's it. Let me zoom out a little so you can get the full view on this. Hold on. 
Whoops. I'm wearing a pink blouse this morning. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to get this set up. And let's see, let me set the quality on my Would you all keep Arlene in your thoughts and prayers this morning? Um, when I set up my stream this morning, she sent me a message saying she wasn't feeling good. So let's just keep our Arlene in our thoughts and prayers. Um, she is she's she's one of our early birds. Her and Rhonda and Kimberly. Please keep Arlene in your thoughts and prayers that she would just get the feeling better. So this looks like it might be a card. Let's take it out and, oh, look. Charlene, this is wonderful. Looks like a, a bit of a flower here. Uh, looks, reminds me of a bumblebee, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a little round piece and some strips of flowers going this way, some ribbon. Uh, the colors remind me of bumblebees. I'm not sure really really nice happy mail happy mail you guys are so good to me and i'm not good back to you i don't deserve you needle craft magazines march of 1922 ah charlene these are wonderful oh look at these the fortune teller you all should is going to be a great man Y'all sure is going to be a great man, he's saying here. He's a fortune teller. Cream of wheat. <laughs> it's a cream of wheat advertising, and he's telling me he's going to be a great man. The cream of wheat was a, and still is. You can buy cream of wheat. It's a cereal. We're going to look at these. Knitting. Craft magazine. This is looks like a tea cloth. Of unique design combines fillet and embroidery for details and working patterns of fillet inserts and borders. See pages. A tea cloth, interesting and unique design. Letters that have been answered by the editor. A lot of advertisement. I won't be cutting this up anytime soon. No, 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 no. Some filet crochet is a vintage pattern here, a filet crochet. That's another crochet along. I don't know if Becky does thread crochet. If she doesn't do it, I might do a crochet along with thread crochet. I'll have to talk to Becky and see. I uh, She uses mostly, you can do... Um, filet crochet with a, a thin yarn though and you just follow a design it's mostly either double double and then in here's it's mostly double stitch if you know what filet, filet crochet if you know about crochet apparel and knitted crochet what other needleworkers have found out Colorful household embroideries. This is dated 1922. Fairy soap. Fairy soap. Starting off clean. I've never heard of fairy soap. F-A-I-R-Y soap. Eastern star emblem. Pillow crochet. This is all about filet crochet. Doilies. Matching the wild rose and pigeon luncheon cloth. A group of interesting centerpieces. No dingy film. Pepsodent. A knitted set for Miss Dolly. I don't know if that's a doll dress. You know, Carol, who's in here, did this beautiful wedding dress. She does probably does filet crochet. Uh, does she did this beautiful uh, wedding dress for her Barbie doll? She's been showing it on Facebook. It's probably on Instagram too. Montgomery Ward and Company, the fiftieth anniversary. 
right for your free copy of this 50th anniversary catalog. And of course we get the vintage ladies here. Friday dinner. What are we having for dinner? Salt codfish and tomato. Stuffed haddock. We're having fish. Baked halibut with tomato. And browned bloaters. These are made from bloaters baked until brown in the oven. I don't know what bloaters are. What are bloaters? Sounds, it sounds like it has gas. <laughs> I'm sorry it does. Crochet craft. Here's some vintage in illustration of children. Wonderful vintage advertisements. How I earned the money at, at home in my spare time. Oh, oh, look at this. The filet crochets patterns. Oh, these are wonderful. Oh, Charlene, thank you so much for this. This one's got a tear in it. Oops. If I can't flip this. Oh, it's got a couple tears. Oh, these are wonderful. Embroidery scissors that they're selling over here, little dollies. How easy it is now to get these great books. There's a pocket watch going on down there. I love your ring, Betty. And here's the back. It's Old Dutch Cleanser. Makes bathrooms bright. And then this one is a post magazine. Oh, look. She's kissing him goodbye. She's on a tractor and he's in a red car. What's with that? 1962. She's clearing the way for him to go to work. She's on a snow plow. She cleared the driveway so he could go to work. And there's a school bus going off to town there. There's the town way in the background. The school bus is going off that way. He works this way. He's going this way. And that's their house. And she had to clear the driveway for him. And probably for, and there was a squirrel sitting on the fence post watching him smooch. <laughs> Hollow legs love Futurama living. <laughs> cream or cream? Cream. So, uh, half and half type creamer, coffee creamer. Pepsi. In this issue, articles, fiction, and departments. The great tariff battle, adventure is my life. I've been lucky. They think we have evil eye, New York Colossal Coliseum. Ring of Fire, doctor's orders and letters. Looks like McMurray and Claudette Colbert in the Gilded li Lily. Too many empty calories. Oh, Charlene, this is, this is, thank you so much for sending these. Look at Zippo. There's a white kitty. I always have trouble cutting these things up after I get them from people, though. Look, there's tires. Good wear tires. Why I deprive my children. Speaking out. Why I deprive my children. By Catherine Britton Mishler. Andy and Jeff were so absorbed in this story and in the cards and pictures that they obviously had forgotten about their unopened gifts. Whatever reservations they may have had about our experiment, they were completely captivated during those moments. She's talking about, I'm not sure what the experiment was. If they felt shortchanged, they showed no signs of it. They had fun with their toys their grandparents and aunts had sent. The fact is, they still had the experience of receiving without the confusion of getting too much. So she regulated what her kids got somehow. A Dodge Dart. I had a Dodge Dart. It didn't look as long as this one. Mine was probably a little bit newer. I had a Dodge Dart. 
one of my school cars was a Dodge Dart. I had a white one and then I, well, my, my little blue one was not a Dart. What was it? I can't remember, but I had a white Dodge Dart school car. Cause my dad took my little Chevy to the funeral of his mother and it never came home. It, it wore out on him on the way back, I think. We'll buy your first cup of coffee. Oh, look at these, look at these implements. The coffee makers, looks like a server. Looks like a, a ice tray, an iron, pots and pans. Carefree gleam for carefree living. Stainless steel with iron nickel is the modern metal that just doesn't know how to stop gleaming. Ooh, then we go to Swiss and ham. Looks like crackers. The great thrift battle. Tariff battle. Funny I saw thrift. <laughs> it's tariff. President Kennedy urges lower import duties to increase foreign trade. Hmm. I wonder what he would say about foreign trade today. Adventure is my life. Author Tucker. Aquatic knight errant in a... Formal portrait made aboard the Merchant Man Eagle, wrecked in nineteen in sixteen fifty nine. So, looks like he man he's doesn't look like he's got any scuba deer on. He must be holding his breath good. <laughs> oh dear! Look at that old boat. Adventure is my life. Looks like he's up in a helicopter or an airplane ready to jump. Here's his feet. This looks like items that he's found. An old necklace. Looks like some gold pieces. Some crosses. Some old jewelry. There's a ring. Deadline for dynamite. Not much time left, he thought, as the shotgun eyed his chest. Ooh, that's a shotgun pointing at your chest. Not much time left. People on the way up. <laughs> I think that's a statue. Natural born naturalist, fashion queen, seeking inspiration, Cloda O'Kennedy, 24 year old Dublin dress designer, pauses at a statue in the garden of New York's Museum of Modern Art. <laughs> She's got a little weight to her, I think. People on the way up. Some nice black and white photos. Look at this. He's got. He's got an old telephone, modern thing back then. I love that picture. <gasps> ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I fell down, down, down. Look at that picture. I've been lucky. Is that Fred McMurray? For an episode in his television series, McMurray was able to draw on his early experience as the leader of Max Melody Boys, playing one-night stands around Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Look at that picture. Oh, that's a wonderful picture. I'll bet those kids are still there. Let's see. This was probably in the 60s. And they were probably about 10 years old. They're probably in their 70s now. Probably about our age. His kids are probably about our age. Twin daughters, Katie and Lori. He says he likes to spend his time at home. That's a wonderful picture. Oh, and then we get into the soup and sandwich. Campbell's soup and sandwich, soup and sandwich. Paul Mall cigarettes. Still had the cigarette ads. Mercury asks, which size car do you want your beauty? Yep, yeah, Mercury. B 
big old long cars. I'll take a minivan, thank you. I like my minivan. Fred McMurray. Tickets, Pillsbury cake. They're still around. Oh, look at this letter. The lie. It's a story. Who told it? By Kurt. Oh, Kurt Vonnegut. He's a junior. He's a famous author. My brother, my younger brother reads him, Kurt Vonnegut. I never really went for him, but my brother liked him. My younger brother back in the day. The lie. From the ground up. All truck. Never die twice. Coming in March 3rd post. Never die twice. A strange love story. How can you die twice? Architects of the future. Woo. Look at that. Outstanding architects of the future. The Penn Neutral Life Insurance Company. There's another car ad. They think we have the evil eye. A lot of stories in here. I think people, even back in the 1960s, read a lot more than we do. I mean, they would sit down and read these stories. Ring of Fire. Grow in greater Philadelphia where industry is diversified. Philadelphia Electric Company. Why fleet pros prefer the perfect circle of piston rings? Huh. They called the man with the fasten, fastening facts. Oh, look at this one. Timely help, but it's always welcome. He can't remember his lines, and there's the teacher going, Psst, say, ahoy there, <laughs> GMAC. Whenever you're buying a car, remember, you can call on General Motors dealer using GMAC for his timely help in financing your car and car insurance. <laughs> New York's Colossal Coliseum. Open season on trim. United States Steel. Hmm. Doctor's Orders. There's another story. Should your child seek a career in youth services? Time for courtship. Take it off. Keep fuel grime out of your home with economical and flameless electric home heating. So she's... She had wrapped the lampshade with cellophane to keep the grime off of the lampshade. And they're saying you can take it off now because we've got flameless electric home heating. Oh, and there's a Norman Rockwell collection. Uh, the collection you've been waiting for. And here's some cartoons. Oh, look at them all. Four pages. Oh, look at this. He gave us a lesson in independence. I think that's John Hancock. It doesn't make sense, it says. John Hancock had a fine home, a prosperous business, and a future solid and secure as any man's. Why should a man like that want to change things? But you open the book of our fight for independence, and there he is on every page. You come to the part about the Boston Tea Party, and he's right in the thick of it. Paul, Ver Paul Revere's ride? That's to warn Hancock and his friend, Sam Adams, that the British are marching to Lexington. The Declaration of Independence, it's his own death warrant if he signs it. But he puts his name down big and bold. Then you think about it for a while, and it makes good sense. You know what grips a man when he first gets a whiff of the fresh and clean air of independence. After that, he can't live with the stale smell of tyranny in his nostrils. So you know why John Hancock wanted to change things. You understand, and because you've grown up in the same fresh air of independence, 
and it's made you the same kind of man. John Hancock Mutual Life Insurance Company in Boston, Massachusetts. I love that. That This was worth reading. You know, our forefathers gave us a wonderful, wonderful gift. They gave us a wonderful gift. Thank you, Mr. Hancock. Orchids are okay, but how about a postage meter? <laughs> give me a postage meter. You can, uh, I love the orchids, but give me a postage meter. <laughs> how can something so sensible as a bedside phone be so delightful too? You should be using a smartphone today. The new Lyndon Johnson. Mr. Lyndon Johnson. These are interesting pictures. Mr. Kennedy's deliberate speed. Here's a liquor ad. And here we are at the end. Remember how great cigarettes used to taste? No, nope, I didn't think they tasted good at all. Well, thank you, Charlene, for these wonderful, wonderful magazines and the po the happy mail that you sent. I put it over here. I can reach it here. She sent me a, a card, a happy mail art card. So thank you, Charlene. These are just wonderful. I enjoy looking at these. I won't be cutting these up anytime soon. Well, the art card I won't cut up at all. I put it with my happy mail over here. Oh, how did you get in here? Got a, got a troll. Thank you, Kimberly. Let me remove this from chat. We haven't had one of those for a long time. How did he get that icon in there? Got a hiccup in there. I thought we weren't supposed to have icons and names. Uh, thank you, Kimberly. Is that Kimberly on the tractor? <laughs> yeah, Kimberly gets her Dagwood off to... Uh... Thank you, Kimberly, for taking care of that troll. Kimberly gets Dagwood off to work every morning. <laughs> And said, is that you? Did you plow the driveway so hubby could go to work? Mary Berry says, I used the tea cloth. It's a simple, bright colored towel. Arlene is a trooper who knows how to recover. Rhonda gave a link to Johnny's shop, her Etsy shop, if you're interested. I don't know if she has any left or not. Quite a few people purchased them, and she had a list of, so go check out her August Studio box. It's well worth the price, let me tell you. I'm never disappointed with Johnny's Studio boxes, never disappointed. Carol says, the icons will be there for those that already had them. The newer names won't be allowed to. Oh. I didn't know that. Well, they should get rid of them, period. I haven't seen any of those for a while. Yeah, jerks. We can freely call them a jerk. Well, they need to go away. They need to go away. They shouldn't even be allowed in chat with an icon like that. I should be able to put those icons in my band words list. Rhonda said she's walking the dog on her phone, so I'll be in the bleachers. That's completely okay, Rhonda. You enjoy your walk. You enjoy that walk. 
And Carol says two, two. Well, since I'm in the talking mode this morning, I was in Dee Dee's um, chat yesterday for just a little bit before I went down to the co-op. I've been meeting on Mondays with the co-op ladies. And Dee Dee said, Mary, would you do a flip of your Society of Idea Collector book? The most recent one. I have another one, but I have to dig it out. This is not the first one. This is the most recent one. I'm starting a new one. I filled this one up. The new one. And what did I do with it? I think I took it out in the other room. No. The new one is going to be a mixed media book. It'll be a hardcover mixed media book. I think Anne sent me on to these. And I like the hard covers, and that's what I like about this one. It's it's a hard cover, and so you can write on it pretty if I'm sitting in my recliner, and it opens nice and flat. So we're going to start a new, I'm not going to start it this morning. I'm going to have a new Society of Idea Collector. And But Dee Dee said, Mary, you should do a flip of your Society of Idea collector and I'm sure you guys have seen this but she wanted me to flip through it so that's what I'm going to do um, maybe I'll zoom in just a tad bit not too much just a little excuse me while I set up the zoom is that good yeah. so this is a Piccadilly, and they're still in business. It's Piccadilly.com, and I'm sure I got this at the thrift store, but the ones they have out there now have kind of a graphical cover with dots, and I'm, I'm, I want a picture. This is, looks like Toulouse-Lautrec here. So I went to a mixed media, and uh, I can take this out and put it in the new one. Let's just take it off. These were tabs that I never used. We'll put that in the new one. It started. I started it in January of 2021. Now I'm going to talk a lot about this, so I hope I'm not boring you. A lot of you have seen all of this. But Dee Dee, I, I was telling Dee Dee yesterday that I never collected ideas until I met Dee Dee online. I never did a mind map until I met Dee Dee. I never made lists until I met Dee Dee. <laughs> now I can't stop. But here in this little paragraph, I won't read it. I'll just paraphrase it. Um, I was talking about what you can do if you lose your mojo. I don't lose my mojo. I just, I have too much mojo. It just, it just flows in. And I, I have trouble getting all my mojo done. <laughs> But I was saying that you could start small, do some small pieces. And here I just cut up some, I think these are fabric pieces here, and I just made little inches. And here I have an idea suggestion from Joan, N-E-I-G-L-E-R. Mary, you could carve a stamp with the lines that you need for an ATC template. And I was, I was in there. I was making a, I, my ATCs in a journal, and I kind of got kind of got away from doing that. I'm going to do it again. Uh, I was put my ATCs right in my my journal, and she was telling me I was drawing out my little lines. I was drawing them out with a ruler, and she says, "Just carve a stamp and stamp them down." So I got a light bulb there. And I went from January 1st to May 10th. And I said, the days pass fast. The days in 2021 pass fast. The Society of Idea Collectors was buried by other projects. I'm still on the first page of my book. Until today, Dee Dee is doing a Society of Idea Collector video. She did one on lists last week. I need to go back and watch it. I do lists... I do list so much on my streams inspired by Dee Dee. I'm talking about the lists that we do in our streams. 
Uh, and then I started writing down people that were in Dee Dee's stream here. I got a whole bunch of names of you guys. Uh, stream, go pull Dee Dee's list and do a society of idea collector. Peel and stick wallpaper on. Oh, peel and stick wallpaper. This is where Dee Dee was telling me that she had some what she called peel and stick wallpaper that she got on Amazon and she said she'd send me some and she did so I put January calendar there never did the January calendar get getting started here I'm in May getting started on collecting ideas notes from Dee Dee stream a challenge a week she was doing a challenge a week of Society of Idea Collector, a Wednesday assignment that is due the following Monday. And she gives them in here. And then she, she did them for several weeks and then she quit doing it. I lost track of her. This notebook, the Society of Idea Collectors, post-it notes and slap it in. Dee Dee's always saying, if you get an idea... Write it down on a post-it note and just slap it in your book. So you, you says, she says, write it down. And this is a Dee Dee phrase. She says, you do have an imagination. It's not, and she's always telling people in her stream, you have an imagination. It's not that you don't have an imagination. The problem is that you don't write it down. <laughs> Get a specific book for collecting ideas. The idea is to keep your ideas uh, regardless of how messy the book is. So the idea of an idea collector book is to keep all your ideas, write them down. This is all from Dee Dee. These aren't my ideas. These are Dee Dee's. I took notes on her stream. Sometimes I screen chat. Uh, um, this was, somebody said this in the chat. Oh, Dev, Dev Rex for Art. So sometimes I screenshot ideas and put in notes on my phone and then I later add them to my Society of Idea notebook. And I thought that was a good idea. So I credit it to Dev. A brain reinforcement is what Picola calls it, a brain reinforcement. List the idea for my stream, a list of journaling stickers, Dee Dee, don't make it so precious. Don't make your Society of Idea Collector book so precious that you don't use your journal. She's saying, use this, be sloppy, slap in, you know, slap in your ideas. Don't, don't try to make it an art journal. It's an idea collector book. Toss it in and collect it. Dee Dee's most basic idea collecting is list assignment get an idea journal make a bunch of lists and she got us started on list making what are what's planning in the little plot of your life this was a group list i think that we did what 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 it should be what is planning in your little in the little plot of your life reality or life garden flowers and yo-yos bird seed to grow lots of birds fussy cuts ephemera positive thoughts audio books we did this what i dated it may 16th of 21 herbs pom-poms hyacinths lavender rose rosemary a lot of plants hydrangeas Pom-poms, pom-pom, pom-pom, poms. This looked like porn, but it's, it's supposed to be pawn. Pom. <coughs> Daisies, bamboos, hollyhocks, a lot of flowers in here. Peace and quiet. And then I wrote, stop! <laughs> so there's a list of things that are growing in the little plot of your life. 
And here's a DD assignment. Do a list of things or occupations, time periods, food, plants, flowers, transportation. And this is just page three. Here's a list that I did. This is an assignment from Dee Dee. And notice I got the bobby pins in here. Yep, I love my bobby pins. People, these are ones I think she did in her stream of people, places, things, occupation, transportation, colors. Dee Dee is doing colors all year this year. Journals of different, uh, using different colors. A color journal, like she'll do a journal on red and gold and flesh and maroon. These are just the different colors. These are different types of lists that you can make. People, place, things, occupation, transportation, color. And then I picked. Then you pick five things from these lists and then you're supposed to do a art piece. Here's my people list my place list. Calligraphy was one of my things that I chose and I did this, I did this, this piece. I don't think this lady is a part of it. I did this art piece, I did a tag with writing on the back, handwriting, this is fabric. And then I did calligraphy, uh, I think this was a Tim Holtz piece here. And I don't know if I wrote that on there. I think I wrote that on there and I drew that pen and here is a Tim Holtz piece here. I made that tag. That was my art piece. I don't know what this... <clears throat> Excuse me, I need another sip of tea here. A fussy cut that was sent to me, I think. Let's put her back in there. And here's a list of things. Here's a list of occupation. Dee Dee, I'm doing this flip for you. I hope I'm not boring everybody in here. <laughs> and here's an art piece I did from these prompts. And I never liked this piece. I never liked it. I still don't really like it. It was a jellyfish was one of the prompts. And I made him a policeman. And he's going around taking care of all the flowers underneath the ocean. The prompts were jellyfish, parking lot, watering can, police, power chair, and fuchsia. These are fuchsias under water. <laughs> There's my color list. Here's another DD assignment. Take five to ten quotes and do an art project. And my quotes were from Albert Einstein. Uh, an Athenian, Agathon, A-G-A-T-H-O-N. He's an Athenian tragic poet. Even God cannot change the past. Hmm. I don't know about that. God's pretty powerful. I wonder if he could change time. I'll bet he could. See, you question things. I question that quote. This guy said that God could not change the past. I'll bet you God could change the past. I don't know. My God could. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln was one of the quotes. The 16th president of the United States. He said, if I were to read, much less answer, all the attacks made on me, this shop might as well be closed for any other business. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Let's get rid of them. Clean up on aisle five. I'm going to have to talk to YouTube about getting rid of of these older ones. Clean up on aisle five.
I'm reporting them. Kimberly's already removed them. Where's Carol? Kimberly or Carol? Hi, Angie. Good morning. We haven't had this trouble for a while. Don't time them out. Remove them if you can. Thank you, Carol. She said she's got to go make breakfast. Thank you guys for sticking with us. We They'll probably be annoyed by him this morning. I'm doing a flip of my Society of Ideal Collectors, kind of talking about it in detail because Dee Dee said, you got to show your most recent Society of Ideal Collector book. Use tabs. It's an easy way to find information. Here's another assignment by Dee Dee. Um, week three. Make a list of everything that you would like to understand more. Make a list of everything that you'd like to understand more. Uh, uh, a concert, an idea, history of something. And from the list, make a piece of art about art philosophy story and why you want to understand more about it. And the top of my list is I would love to understand more about my personal ancestors, like their names, their likes and dislikes, what talents they had, their hopes and their dreams. I would love to talk to some of my great, 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 great grandparents. No, I would love to just sit and visit with him. How was your life? What did you have to go through? What foods did you like? Did you have popcorn? <laughs> How did you communicate with each other? Were you were you married? Uh, did you have kids? Well, of course they had kids or they wouldn't be my ancestors. <laughs> um, you know, what was your first home like? How did you meet? your husband or your wife. Uh, I wanted to know about more about calligraphy. I think that's what I probably did this calligraphy tab from. Uh, I wanted to know more about Latin. That's still something I'd like to know more about. Astronomy. I want to work on a secret project. And I actually started a journal for that. I should get back to working. I got a couple, a couple secret projects that get buried under all my other projects. Digital art, um, shorts. I would I was thinking about YouTube shorts at that time. Uh, I wanted to know more about OBS, a streaming software, and Dante. I wanted to more more about the Divine Comedy. My choice for the art piece was calligraphy, and I did that tag. I had some goals back here to do an alphabet from a source book, do three art pieces in the next two weeks, pra practice flourishes, do my name, do a happy mail, read the calligraphy book, work with different writing tools, work with different paper and inks and media, write my channel name in calligraphy, and do a certificate. Wow, how many of those did I actually get done? Couple. I think I did a couple. Society of Idea Collector, another assignment from Dee Dee on making lists. Oh, this is a list of the lists. This is a list of all of her assignments. Week one, I didn't write down week two. Week three was things you want to know more about, make a list of opposites. <laughs> That's when I met Rachel. 
um, Rachel comes to Didi's streams a lot. And I was, I was in Didi's stream and I was listing all the opposites of like the opposite of black is white. And I kept going in Didi's stream and Rachel started, uh, and I didn't know who she was. I thought she was a troll. I thought she was mocking me. And that's the one time I didn't know who she was. I thought she was a troll. <laughs> she was just being funny. And, uh, you know, I said, mods, this person is annoying me. And it was Rachel. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, we got on good talking terms. Rachel was just having fun. And I, I must have been in a bad mood that day because it hit me the wrong way. Now she's a good friend. She's. She, uh, I think she was ill there for a while, and I saw her in Didi's stream yesterday. Week eight of Didi's Society of Idea Collectors was to do a list of your favorite books and then do an art piece inspired by one. Speaking of favorite books, I went to the library yesterday. I got some books. My brother loves James Patterson, and I haven't been to the library for a while because I've been gardening and all of that. And uh, he's a very prolific author, mystery writer, James Patterson. My brother loves to read him. And I got me one book, one book. And I brought it home yesterday and I read the whole thing. It's this very interesting book because um, it's talking about a, a library in a small town. I like these little short, easy read novels. It was about a lady whose husband died and she has two kids. So she's a single mom and her aunt Edie left her uh, the uh, Queen Anne Victorian house. You know, this is Mary all over the place. And uh, she comes home and her aunt Edie left enough money in her will and the house to her niece, this lady, single mother who comes home with her two kids and to convert a part of that Queen Victorian home into a library. And I read, it's a whole story. It tells the whole, you know, I'm not going to tell everything. Uh, but when I got to the end, but I noticed that the author who wrote it, wrote it under a pen name. And at the end, I was reading about the author and the book is a, the book is a series. And this is something I've never seen before. I've seen novellas where authors will get together and write short stories and publish them in one book, and it's called a novella, N-O-V-E-L-L-A. But this was a whole series of books that each author would write a book, and, uh, and it would be like probably all centered around. I'm going to go back. I only checked out one of them. I'm going to go back to the library and get the other books or read, I'm going to read that series of books. The name of the book was Nowhere to be Found. The author, I forget the name of the author. She wrote under a pen name. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find it online here, I'm sure. I enjoyed the read, and it was a book I could read in a day. It was, But it was like 300 pages, <laughs> but it wasn't a big book. Let's see if... I can find it here on. Amazon can't read my typos. <laughs> oh dear, poor Amazon. Now, hold on. Huh. It doesn't like what I'm doing here. Hmm. 
do 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 it's a kindle book on amazon Huh. I don't see it in. Here it is. Looks like they've got different books. Nowhere to be found. No, that isn't it. They've got different authors. Here it is. Hardcover. Let's copy this one. Here it is. Let me give you this link. Looks like there's different. There's different, uh, different books. Let's see if Kimberly got the one that. Yeah, there. Kimberly gave you the link. That's the book I read yesterday. And that Queen Anne, if you click on that link, that's an Amazon book. Thank you, Kimberly. Hardcover. I got the soft cover. It No, that's a hardcover book that I read yesterday. I'm sure you can get used books. I got it at the library. Um, but that book, it's very interesting. That book is a series of books by different authors. Uh, probably centered around the same story, the same the same town. The name of the town is Blue Hill. And it's really interesting because Blue Hill is a town in Nebraska, not far from us. And in that book, it refers to another town that has a library that this lady goes to visit. And the name of that town was Deschler. And Deschler is a town in Nebraska. And I think the lady who wrote this book was from Nebraska. But the book, the place Blue Hill in this book is in Pennsylvania. Interesting. So anyway, I read that book yesterday. <laughs> That's how I spent the, uh, the lady who does the stitch chat on Monday afternoons had to take her mother to had a doctor appointment so we didn't have a a stitch deal yesterday so I went to the library instead Emily Thomas now I don't know if that's her pen name or her real name she writes under a pen name I think let's go back to the uh She writes under a pen name. Susan Page Davis is the author of more than 80. So I think her real name is Susan Page Davis. I think Emily Thomas is her pen name. But there's several books in that series, and they're at the library, and I, I grabbed one. I got off track. I went down a rabbit trail with books here. That was list of books and do an art piece inspired by one. <laughs> oh, dear. There's a five-book bundle. That's probably them. Thank you, Kimberly, for doing that. I spend all this time trying to find the links and you guys are so much better at it than me because I'm doing one finger on my tablet and it typos and everything. Very cool. All right. I'm on page 15. We did a list of opposites here. This is my list of opposites. 
When I think of morning, I think of the start of a new day. Our bodies are, re are rested, our minds are refreshed. The moment and hours of life are before us waiting for us to move into our destiny. When I think of night, we were supposed to do a piece of art based on opposites. And I was doing morning and night. And so I did, this was my piece of art. I wrote it in a big capital text up here. You're having a hard time seeing it probably. So that was my thoughts on morning. And then on night, I wrote it in small caps and small. So I did large caps and small caps. I did morning and night. I did, uh, well, that's what I did. When I think of night, I think of the day past. We lived another day of life. It's time to rest. The sun is set. The stars are out. It's dark. The day is done, over, past. Eyes are droopy. We slow down. Dreams come. Rest, sleep. Trust to wake up to another day. And then I journaled about my assignment. Here's another assignment was to take a stamp and just play with the stamp on your page. And I did that here, but I did that. My very last page in here was to carve that pin stamp. And I thought of Didi when I did this. I carved this stamp of a pen. Uh, where's Penelope? Of a pen like this, a leaf pen. And that's my stamp. And then I took that stamp and I played with different... Here I carved another stamp. Got an idea from this. And then I just played with the stamp on my page with different ways to stamp it. And that's what Dee Dee had did as an assignment over here in week five. Choose a stamp and stamp it and write and write a word to find a picture of food and mind map anything about it. And here's the food. We did this. We did this in law. Uh, we did. I got a picture of a cake. And we mind map that cake. And then we did a recipe. Do a transparent arcade. I haven't done that yet. Do a transparent arcade. Uh, big G. Plastic. Oh, this looks like a shopping list. Prototype for front porch gnomes. We were talking in still about my front porch gnomes. Here's a traditional gnome green said to guests. By leaf and star, by stream and wind, both near and far to friend and kin. Welcome. That was by Nina. Traditional gnome greeting to be said by gifts. Mina, Mina wrote this. By leaf and star, by stream and wind, both near and far to friend and kin. Welcome. We did a fat cricket. Cricket is fed too many treats. And here we got into a sketch of something or other. I will not throw spitballs. <laughs> Ruby Rose bribes the cricket to be quiet so she can go out sketching. That was that start of that little story. I think my Ruby Rose story got was a part of this idea collector journal. Here we did a recipe. I think we did this. We altered a recipe. I think we made a, a one of those cakes that you kind of just throw everything in. Kitchen sink cake. Wednesday, June 9th. Dee Dee, Society of Idea Collectors. See, Dee Dee is the inspiration. Dee Dee started me getting, for a while there, I wasn't doing Society of Idea Collector. I had a gap in there, and Dee Dee got me started again. Mary is here for the homework. <laughs> Dee Dee, this is Dee Dee's. This is the quote from Dee Dee. I was going to Dee Dee's streams just to get her homework for Society of Idea Collector. And Dee Dee said, Mary's here for the homework. And she was right. 
Week five, list of foods. I need to catch up. Here I did a fabric, a list on fabric that you like and mind map it. We're talking about getting ideas. Ways to be creative book. Dee Dee read some quotes and I didn't get them all written down. Do a group list on the ways that we are creative. I think we did that. Here, to do. Move the Charlie Brown tree outside and make front porch decorations from it. I never moved it outside. I, I left it in the dining room for a long time and finally I threw it away. And the gnome project. Uh, thinking of getting a five gallon bucket and turning upside down and painting a gnome for a bird feeder. Need to get the materials. Here we did a list of papers used in art journaling. I did this list. I think this is my personal list. And I did a mind map on papers. I did a video on this for, um, for a private group. It was all about paper. June 16th, week 7, Dee Dee. Society of Idea Collectors, theme, colors, color names. Pick three random colors. I picked bronze, copper, salmon, and cream. What did I do? Here's my list of lists again. Here's a mind map on using colors. What if, let's see, I got into Thomas Edison here for it somehow, and I did a sketch of Thomas Edison. Here's Society of Idea Collector in different fonts. Go through your old journals and snap pictures. Compile a technique or other type of art book. Huh. I've never done that. Snap pictures from your old journals and make a, an art piece from it. Websites for free online art books. So I've got a list of 10 of those. The National Gallery of Art. Free online art books. You can go out and read online art about art books. Here's some July 14th Becky prompts. Here we did an art piece based on, uh, I think this was assignment. Take some old art you worked on before and turn it into something new. I don't think that's what, I think this was looking at an old, uh, old lost art. Uh, and I took a Roman mosaic, I think, and I updated it with a lady inside of it. And this was a mosaic tile art. Becky's summer journal. This was prompts from Becky's summer journal that she did a couple years ago. Here I design a 4th of July stamp. I was playing with designing a 4th of July. I was just playing with stars, I think. I don't think I actually carved the stamp. Wednesday, July 7, 2021. Dee Dee Willingham, Society of Idea Collectors. Weekly idea. None this week. <laughs> she didn't do a Society of Idea Collector that week. I had it all formatted out. I was going to write it all down. She didn't do one. What could I do for a 52-week project? Hashtag time for art. That's where I got the time for art. We did a, a live stream hop for a couple years there. What are your art struggles? Paint a shadow box. I played with shadow boxes. Week 11, Society of Idea Collectors, Dee Dee. Cut shapes from pattern paper and create an art piece. And I did punches of leaves and I cut out a chair. I did a one of these Greek keys, it's dragonflies. I put a kitty sleeping on the chair. Make what wrapping paper. Here's where I played with stamps with my bunny. I carved a bunny. 
design your own book plate stamp for your journals. I never did that. Blast bash your stash. See, there was, this is where we got into those BBYS. And now I have now 20 kits out there ready to be put in my stash room. I eventually separated all that extra stash into 20 kits. And it's called Blast Bash Your Stash. I think that came from, from Ann Lar. That Blast Bash Your Stash. And Becky started doing bits and bops. And uh, I do both. Bits and bops and Blast Bash Your Stash. Make caboodle dolls. To go with the caboodle journals. Rosemary's got into making dolls. She did wonderful nature dolls this month. I have to catch up with Rosemary. August 2021, Dee Dee Willingham, Weekly Ideas, Society of Idea Collectors. That's what this is. You choose a lost civilization and create something based on their art. And I called this a Roman, a lost civilization. I'm missing a mosaic there, missing the tile. August 2nd, Dee Dee Willingham. Did you guys think I got inspired by Dee Dee? Society of Idea Collectors. Pick a lost civilization and create, create something using their art. And I got into all these notes about lost civilizations. I'm not going to read all of that. I will read this, though, because this was my own thought about lost civilization. And I said, we often think of ancient in terms of lost civilizations. But what are or are potentially that uh, things that we lost, uh, like our own cultures, declines in cultural values, political, religious norms, and mores? Like, well, think about hippies. Um, I was saying, you know, like hippies, we no longer have hippies. It's more like a lost fad, but I'm, I'm saying... It really isn't a civilization, but it's something that we've lost in our own culture. Um, we have retro hippie and retro, um, you know, we have retro art that we go back, but I'm calling them lost civilizations. And then I go, well, then what What do things are lost today? Like our memories, you know, we we lose we lose a lot of our daily thoughts. If we don't write it down, you know, we, who knows what we think about during the day, but we don't write all that down and, you know, we get an idea and it comes and it goes. Um, we meet people and we may, they may be in your life for a while and they may move away and you never hear from them again. And then I put lost art supplies. I'm always losing things. My most recent lost art supply is the box that I'm going to convert for Becky. Her art box. I can't find the thing. It's lost. So I got lost civilizations, lost art supply, our lost ancestors, our legacy. Many of us can't go back past our great great grandparents, but who there are great 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 grandparents? Who knows? Well, some of you know, but. Um, daydreams. Sometimes we lose our thoughts in daydreams. We lose the daydreams, and then uh, losing touch with your with friends, moving away, lack of communication, lost list of things that are on the words. I have things that are on the tip of my tongue, and you guys know this. I go now. What word am I thinking of? So I was thinking, and then I put lost in space. I was thinking of the things that we lose, all because of Dee Dee. Here's another weekly idea, Society of Idea Collectors. Pick books, magazines, or photos that have a has a variety of different pictures. Go through and write down, a sketch and doodle, take ideas and notes. The idea is to get the idea. That's a quote from Dee Dee. And the idea is to get the idea. And then I did different 
things here. These are my notes of going through a magazine. And here's a picture. This was an art piece done on a photo based on a photograph that I had got in an antique mall and it was a band, you know, and they all had white shirts and ties on. It was like a school band in the 1940s or 50s. And so I did this piece of art and in here I had white shirts. I did this online. There were white shirts in there and I turned them a buttermilk and these are all the ties and they ended up look like, looking like people to me, little people out with their coats, maybe in the 1900s. What attracts you to the photo? Contrast white to black, vertical lines. I was, all of those neckties on the, in that, of those band members attracted me to that photo. Horizontal steps. So these are the horizontal steps up to the stage. And then backstage background. All those white shirts. And it ended up looking like a lot of people. Here's a front page score. I think this was the last Society of Ideal Collectors from Weekly Assignment from Dee Dee. There might be others in here. I don't see them. Inspiration for Dee Dee. Go to Pinterest. This was the last one. Go to Pinterest and identify art items. For, for this time period, that was the last one. I think she had some more in here. I might have written them down. I did a house type list, different types of houses. Victorian bed and breakfast lobby, things that we would find in a lobby of a Victorian house. List of rooms in a house. This was for time for art, a Victorian bed and breakfast. We did quiet books. That was Anne's idea. And I think Anne's was probably her quiet book. It was like an interactive book. You would take them to, um, like if you're kids and you went to a doctor's office and you wanted to keep those kids quiet in, while you were waiting for the doctor. They had quite what they called quiet books and it would be interactive elements that those kids could play with. I got all off into this Victorian thing. Here's where I carved an African lady stencil. Rosemary was doing an African caboodle. Here's a list we did on page 55 of fall in Fibsville. We were still Fibsville then. Different things that we'd see in Fibsville. You guys did this. We had 128 things. <coughs> Here's a sketch of a dog. reference photo that I did from Unsplit. We named him Sherlock. This is our little Fibsville dog. Oh no, here was a weekly idea from Dee Dee. We were supposed to make paper dolls. I made a paper doll of my mother. Weekly idea, week 15. Dee Dee Willingham, create a paper doll, then design costumes for her. And I just made the copy. This was a dress that my mother wore that I remember. Uh, in the 1950s, she wore this polka dotted dress. This is how I remember my mother. And it looks like her. It looks just like my mother. I should do one of my dad. Today is September 23rd. Today is my mother's birthday. If she were still with us, she would have been 107 years old. This is a paper doll I created of her as I remember her when I was about five or six years old. I hope I'm not boring, you guys. I'm only on page 60, 62. Dee, I'm doing this for Dee Dee. I'm going to have to say, Dee Dee, I, went, I did a flip of the book. Here's another group list that we do. We, we, here's where we named um, Ruby Rose. And the name, we got all of these names, and then I went to Random Org. And we got Ruby Lindsay Tinker, Tinker something. Ruby Lindsay is in here. I think it's Tinker, T I N K E R. 
Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, Ruby Lindsay, um, Tinkerbell. And I kept saying Rose instead of Ruby. And you guys were laughing in the background. Of course, I wasn't paying attention. You guys were laughing. So we, uh, we, <laughs> we named her Ruby Rose. That's how our little gnome got her name. Inktober ideas. Here's a list of things we could do for Inktober. Here's a mind map of Ruby Rose. I won't name, I won't read it all, but Ruby Rose, Lindsay Tinkerbell is her full name. Her favorite flower is a rose. We did, we mind map Ruby Rose. Here we got into the story. I was sketching the story of where she bribed the little cricket. She bribes the cricket. This is my original sketch. Well, here's where I started sketching the cricket and Ruby Rose. But here's where she's bribing the cricket with a piece of linen. Crickets like to eat fabric. She's bribing with a piece of linen so that she, he won't. He's an alarm. Gnomes use crickets for alarms. And she's bribing him to be quiet. So. She can go out urban sketching. And when she goes out urban sketching, uh, from reading that book on gnomes, we learned that gnomes don't like pole cats. And here's my original. See, they're not, they're just scribble sketches. But that pole cat is sneaking up on her. Look how vicious he is. And gnomes don't like pole cats because pole cats are known to. Um, poison a frog and they paralyze their prey and gnomes don't want to get paralyzed so they stay away from pole cats well this pole cat here's ruby rose she's sitting here all involved in her urban sketch unaware of this pole cat sneaking up on her well there's another cat in the story <coughs> named bandit and this is another scratchy sketch me getting ideas for my story. And I told this story in Fibs in Fibsville. And here I'm doing sketches of Bandit in here. Bandit is our little kitty. And over here is the pole cat sneaking up on Ruby Rose. And Bandit jumps down and chases the pole cat away. Here's Bandit jumping out of the tree off of, onto the chasing the pole cat away from poor ruby rose and then i got to thinking how i was going to illustrate it <clears throat> i was thinking i would do this one illustration on every page i don't think that got done and there we did a list on naming the cricket alarm and we ended up with buggy buggy boo bugsy squeaks collide callet Clive, Clive, but we named him Legs. We nicknamed our cricket Legs. I like Squeaks too. So that's the name of our cricket. Mary, get more S gel pins. This is where I found was, uh, I was experimenting with those new Sharpie pins, the S gels. And I put a note to get some more of them. And here are some ideas that I could do with gnome stories. And we we're going to do a list on, on uh, we did that. Here's my idea was to do a list on boy names, gnome boy names. Here's some Janet Nash prompts. Ideas for Asian Chinese clusters. I was playing with, I made some clusters and I used the quill pins to do Chinese symbols out there. Here's the, this is how I flag my ideas. I dry light bulbs and I had a stamp, but I quit using the stamp because I couldn't keep it with the book. So I just draw light bulbs. Stamp out all stamps in a mini book and note which box they were in. <laughs> that still needs to be done. Stamp out all your hand card stamps. Here I, I'm working on words. 
to carve on stamps. I'm doing the alphabet on one side, the A, B, C, D, and then I'm putting a word on. I think I got to Q. I think I was on Q on doing these. Here we are in November. Is that November? No, November carve of 2021. I was doing carve November here. And I was making a list of things I could do. I think I ended up doing the words. Here's a list of holidays. Here's where we did the Fussy Buttons Fibsville in October. I was thinking over here, this wasn't November. This was thinking about a list of things I could do in them. This was a Fussy Buttons. Fussy, F-U-S-S-Y, Buttons, B-U-T-T-O-N-S. And I wrote this whole story out here about their Thanksgiving dinner. I wrote the whole story out. I'm not going to read it to you. Take too long. We did a recipe book with Becky about that time. And the recipe book is sitting over there on my bookshelf. Here I did a list of commonplace items. And I was going to sketch these and... I never got them done, but here we did a list of commonplace items. Here's my list of words to go that I was thinking I'm putting on the back of those carved stamps. Here's my alphabet written backwards for carving, and I was playing with doing the script here. Here's a word list again. Here I was doing, um, I was figuring out the fussy buttons family tree here and naming the kids and everything. I did another story. Here's more words. I was designing stamps. Here's some Aunt Beck prompts for one of her games. Here we I did a pick 12. I'm not sure what I was doing there. I think I took Becky's pick 12 and and what I did Becky used a white border. Plays in, oh, that's Becky's Gmail. Fibsville Turkey Hunt. List of Thanksgiving memories. Here's where I actually did the, the Fussy Buttons family tree. I did an art piece on this. Let's put this. I was playing with doing a family tree of my fictional characters. Here's some more Asian caboodle stuff. What things would you see at Grandma and Grandpa's Fussy Buttons Farm? This was a group list that we did, and it was a long one. It was 105 things we'd see on the Fussy Button Farm. Here we're going to put a statue of Ruby Rose in Fibsville. We never got that done. What unfinished projects do you have? Well, I just named one. What was the project? Was it a fave project? Why? Oh, this was a list. This was another list of unfinished projects. And I put the name, what the project was, and if you it was a favorite or not. A list of electric things that are powered by electricity, like uh, a weed eater, a washing machine, an electric mower. That's another list. Here's where I carved the stamp of me. Here's another group list. So we're into the list. What is what is your holiday Christmas? Or Hanukkah, what kind of a holiday winter traditions? So this is a list of holiday or, or Christmas traditions. We're in December now of 2021. Some ideas from reading the Somerset Studio Magazine. That kind of goes back to what Dee Dee told us to 
to read a magazine and write down your ideas that you get. Here I wrote down in December of 2021, I noticed an old Facebook post where I mentioned how fun it would be to have a, a game like Farm Town. Um, I enjoy the merry games and dream about doing one sometime. And actually, I never did that, but Anne Lar did a game. Uh, oh, I forget what it's, it's like uh, your lost mail. Uh, I, I forget what Anne called it, but Anne created a wonderful game based on packages that get lost in the mail or where where's my mail type thing. Anne designed a game. Very interesting and a really fun game, I think. It's a board game. A list of my mother's and father's stories. I wanted to make a list of those stories I remember. I started writing down a couple of stories that my mother would tell. Here's a list of things that I wanted to do on a Sunday evening of December 19th. Open happy mail. Share book voting. Free books. List what things do you plan to do for Christmas week. Do a challenge. Scribbles of me. Talk about New Year's Streamathon. A list of how you're planning your Christmas week. That's a group list. Here's some a newspaper article that I saved. Here I was planning a zine of snow globes. I think I actually made those. How can I ramp up my channel. This is a personal list. Here's a list of things I want to learn. Latin language, ice dyeing, encaustic. This was a group list from you guys. Things that we want to learn. And here I was playing with the Oaxaca dolls. Oaxaca, Oaxaca, something dolls. And this is a dog that's, I was thinking about making a stencil of this dog, prevalent in the Mexican culture. Cinco de Mayo, holiday. Here I was playing with a cardinal stamp. Here's what we did, named Farm Bill to Fib Diggity. And I did the etymology is a study of a word and I did, the etymology, of course, stands for fibs, friend in the box, and I noted where that came from. And then the diggity, the diggity is a word, is emphasis words, like hot diggity. And diggity emphasizes hot, you know, like hot diggity. And so I was emphasizing friends in the box, fib diggity. We named Farmville to fib diggity there. Grandpa did. Oh, this is a description of Ruby Rose's great grandfather to the 10th power. He was so old that he was so old that his beard was so long that he had to roll it up and tuck it in his suspenders. He was so old that his face was so wrinkled that it looked like a razor or a road map. His back was so bent that he looked like a gnarled piece of wood. We could do some sketches of him. His toes were so blank that his toes were so pointed that he could not dance a jig. His toes were so long that he could use them as skis. <laughs> we did this in as a group list thing. That was a fun list of Grandpa to the Tenth Power. And here's another stamp that I was playing with. Goodness, 
This was a steampunk sketch of Ruby Rose, how scribbly it was, but then here she is here. I kind of like that. What was the name of Ruby Rose's brother? This was a group list, and we came out with Ricky Ryland Rose. And he has a bullfrog pet named Ribbit. And here we, we're doing a steampunk bandit. The, here's the cat. Here's his tail. He's got a clock on his back. He's got one of those steampunk hats. The clock has a mouse on it. His nose points to nine o'clock. Here I was playing with a hot air balloon. What things can I put in a spring-themed journal? I think. Terrarium. I was going to do a terrarium. I never got that done. A spring-themed... Uh, I had put snow globe, and you guys said I should do terrariums. And we came up with 15 of them. I never got it done. It's ideas. Collecting ideas. Project list here. These are some things I was working on. I sent, I made a, a, a piece that I sent to Becky based off of an owl charm. I actually got that sent to her. Oh, and these I made. See, it's right here. We had a giveaway. I have those over on my cart. Anlar 1-1, one, one, Kimberly 1-1, one, one, 31 for Becky's mom, Becky's mom 1-1, one, one, and Rhonda 1-1. One, one. There they are. And I'm just going to send one to Arlene. Paint Girly, Thursday, 10 a.m. This is a, I noted when Lori was going to stream. She's on Fridays now. <coughs> Here I was playing with fractal art images in my world I could fractal. This is my personal list. I was playing with fractal. I did a kind of a mind map of the word fractal art. Uh Dee Dee inspires me. Hashtag Dee Dee inspires me. Hashtag blame it on Dee Dee. Here's some more fractal art. We're in March of 2022 now. We did ATCs for the that fox duct tape. Susan Jarrow, Mina, and Paint Girly. And then I have another giveaway that they're sitting over here. I haven't got them sent, but I do have the names down. <laughs> Fib Diggity, Wednesday Sisters. These are book lists, novels. I was reading that novel, Wednesday Sisters. Here's some more books that I want to read To Kill a Mockingbird, Charlotte's Web. What is this? Oh, here's our fairies. Our list of fairies. I've got a baker's done of fairies. You guys help me do this. The name of the fairy, their special power, their mischievous nature, and their special color. Here I did a what if kind of mind map thing on Beatrice Potter, Potter, the tale of Peter Rabbit. I wrote, what if it, what if instead of rabbits, they were kittens? What are the names of the four little rabbits? And they are Peter, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail bunnies out of Beatrice Potter. I was doing who, what, where, when, why kind of in written form rather than graphic form. Fine liner ideas. Here's where we did the May 24th of 2020. You sure that isn't 2022? I think this is supposed to be 2022. I got it wrong. 
um, I'm going to cross this out and put 22 here. <coughs> Studying the angel wings and fairy wings, the different shapes. I went out and looked at different images of fairies. Copying the shapes. I actually used one there. Oh. I'm about done. I'm doing this. Dee Dee wanted me to do a flip of my Society of Idea Collector book. So that's what this is. Hope I'm not boring you guys. We're about done. What? to do for a homemade stencil for a cowgirl. And I actually did this. We designed that in the stream. We ended up with a horseshoe and well what did we end up with? Did I do that in here? I, I got it in my pages. No, this is this is just the basis of my cowgirl journal, Caboodle. I love this spine. But I got pages for it. It's over that way. But I was trying to think. I know I did the horseshoe. I'm not sure. These were sketches. I'm not sure. I can't remember what we put in it. What kind of a plan do Roby Rose and Maisie need to come up with to free coral? We did a list of plans. To free all the different fairies. Here's coral. A sketch of coral. I tried to do a stamp of her. And it wasn't turning out. This is one of the most recent. Um, caricature. Fourth Art Saturday. And I did the hands people. This was my sketches. Planning for that. Here was. The most recent story I told. In Fib Diggity on July 3rd about the bed and breakfast people. We named the lady um, Vivian and Vic. I think that came from Becky. And it's going to be a mystery story, I think. Um, we were planning to do an art retreat in this old abandoned hotel. And here's my... I want to... I'm not happy with this sketch. I want to do a new logo of Penelope Rose for my site. I'm just playing here and I got into designing this pin stamp. That's the very last thing I did in this book. I need to go back and finish my index here. I've got about 30 some pages left to make notes of what I did in here. I put my index at the very back and I worked forward. So this is just saying what all of this is. So if I never need to find something, I can kind of look at the index. So there we go. Society of Idea Collectors. Wow. That was a long, a long segment, wasn't it? So we're going to start a new one. We're going to start a new one. It's about the same size. And it's not a ring. It's a bound one. I might end up unbinding it and making a ring out of it. Uh. We'll see how this goes. Or it might just fan out and get fat. So, I'm sorry that I got off into that big old flip of Society of Idea Collector, but there it is. And here's the book that I kept out. This was a duplicate book. I think what I might do is get inspired by this style of illustration. See, they're all... If you look at these, let's find a good example. If you look at this style of illustration here, look how the colors are flat. Uh, like the elephant is all one shade of color, except for maybe his back foot. This whole area in here is a flat color of black. Her dress does not have any shading in it. It's a light orange. This is a little bit darker orange. His outfit is a blue. And if you look at these illustrations from the 1930s, I think this book was published in 1930. 1930. 
If you look at this style of illustration, you'll see that in a lot of these books. This style of illustration. I think I want to do some pictures based off of that. And I've noticed, I've done that before when we went out to the Real Simple magazines. The Real Simple magazines kind of use this style of in their in their illustrated art. They're called one tone, I think, paint, uh, illustrations. I like that. It's very, it's a very distinct illustrating style. Like her, uh, her entire dress is this light pink. His outfit is all one tone of, all one tone of color, green. You don't see much shading in there. And I like that. I like that style. It's very distinctive for the 30s. All right, let's look at chat. I'm off in my own world here. There is a five book bundle. Oh, didn't. Let's go to five chat. Hi, Lena. She said it was fun to watch, Mary. Hi, Lena. I haven't seen you in a long time. I don't get out to streams much anymore. I try. The one streams that I get to, I got to, I dropped into Janet Nash's <coughs> yesterday morning just for a bit to say hello. And I happened to pop into Dee Dee right before she did her giveaway. So that was kind of fun. And she said, Mary, I want you to do a flip of your Society of Idea Collector. So that's what that was all about. Paula, hi Paula, loves art. She said, I love the walkthrough. I love the older illustrations, Paula says, like that. They're nostalgic. Yeah, they are. Lena says, I lurk a lot, Mary, because I'm at work at this hour. Oh, you're at work. Okay. I have to have a sip of tea because I've been chattering so much. Paula says, I saw some journals on a deep discount at Hobby Lobby yesterday. I wondered if people ever do journals out of those covering up old calendar dates. I bought one I liked. I think it's about to, to be outdated. Calendars bound with pages that could be covered over. Oh, you're talking about the numbers could be covered over. Um, they could be jessled out. I think if that's if those are inspiring you, Pam, I think you should go for it. Paula, I'm sorry I called you Pam. Paula, I, I think if those calendars are and that calendar art is inspiring you, I think you should go for it. No matter if anybody does them or not, they're inspiring you. Rhonda's still out here. Hi, Rhonda. Kimberly says, I gotta go look at my garden real quick. I need to get out there too. I got to mow the lawn. I'm hoping that it'll be dry and cool enough to mow the lawn today. Let's see. Oh, we got another troll. Let me get rid of that. Who got rid of him? Rhonda did. Kimberly. Let me get rid of. Let me report this guy. Clean up on aisle five. I get them out of my, uh, so it doesn't stick in the, delete him from the chat, all of the crap from the chat. I don't know uh, when Kimberly hit him. I think you it hit it for you guys. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I still see him, so I report him. Thank you, Kimberly. Paula says, I like the idea of getting ideas from magazines. I miss getting the Victoria magazine, but sometimes I find them in the antique mall. Yeah, that Victoria magazine is still publishing now. I love that Victoria magazine. <laughs> Lena says, where the hell is my PA package? I don't know. Oh, package. Oh. Where in the world? <laughs> Anne's game was where in the world is my package? 
That was a game that Anne designed. I think she did a really good job of it. Yes. But Lena called it, where the hell is my package? <laughs> Lena, you are so funny. She's lurking out there. She's at work. Talking about relatives, Mary, talking about Mary Berry's relatives. Uh, Mary Berry says, good thing I had my aunt and uncle, real triplers, ready to drive me all around. I have a big bunch of cousins my age. It's lucky if I see them on Facebook. Mary Berry says, correction, moved across the border to Tennessee. I tracked down everyone. It was hard work. It took me a month. They're talking about relatives. I'm just going back through chat. I was chattering away, not paying much attention to chat. So I got to see what. Yeah, here he is again. I'm going to report him. Honestly. Thanks to Kimberly and Rhonda and Carol for taking care of the spammer. YouTube needs to get rid of the old. They shouldn't be allowing any icons in these names. How did he even get in here? All right, I can't go up anymore. Mary Berry is taking, talking about her relatives. Lena says, I look a lot because I'm at work. It's two o'clock in Denmark. Really? So you're going to be going home pretty soon, <laughs> in about three hours. Yeah, Paula says, yeah, with gesso on those calendars. I think you should go for it, Paula. If those, if, if those are calling to you, uh, there's a reason why you noticed them. Yeah, I think the Victoria Magazine has a reasonable subscription rate. I think they only publish four, time, four times a year. No, maybe it's every other. Let's see. Do I have it out here? I had one out that I was using, but it looks like I I did something with it. All right. Well, it is only 7 o'clock, and I can go until 9.45 this morning. So let's do some art, shall we? Shall we do some art? I am working in the... Well, I'm working on my Christmas Santa. Let's see, this needs to go in here. This is Holiday Craft With Us Open Collab. He's got such a sad face. He's got such a sad face for Santa. I have to redo his face. And these are patterns. This is what I'm doing, a Santa Claus doll. And I use fleece for the, for the hat. He is based off of an illustration out of, he's based on an illustration out of here. This book I got from Norma, if I can find it, this Santa. He's based off of this Santa Claus. And he's just going to be a doll, a paper doll. And I was thinking I'd go out in the yard and get a twig. I just drew the cane on here, the candy cane. But I was thinking it would be fun if I'd get all out and get a do a twig. And I'm going to cut this out. I cut out the pattern, but this is going to be a paper doll. It's going to be a cutout. Um, so I did all that yesterday. I um, wish I had a twig. Uh, but let's go ahead. Uh, I need something for his pouch and his shoes. And the rest I'm going to draw on here, I think. Oh, and his belt. Maybe I won't work on this. I'm going to gather some. I have to do some gathering. I want to get a twig for like a walking stick. 
I want to get some leather for the belt and the pouch. And it would be fun uh, to get a little doll piece and put here. I got those Tim Holtz little girl dolls. Some Tim Holtz pieces. The resin pieces. Or I could get some other kind of toy and put here. And then he's also carrying a sack of apples. So I still have to, I got this drawn in here as the hand, <clears throat> but he's got a mitten. So this might, I'm probably cut this out and put his mitten in here and have the toys down in here. <coughs> I don't think Santa Claus, well, he might have carried something on his back, but not in this illustration. So, and I want to get a piece for the belt. So, I don't think I'm going to work on this today because I, I want to do some gathering. So, we're going to put that aside. We are working, oh, we need to draw an insect. We need to draw an insect. What did I drop? We're working in the field notebook. But let's go out and draw our insect. Carol says, I'm in and out, getting stuff done. Angie says, she's awake. Paula says, I need to go. I wish I could stay. I'll watch the rest later on. Thank you, Paula. Have a great day, Paula. Lots of rain in Missouri today, Paula says. It's fun visiting with you all. Happy day to you, Mary, and all. Happy day to you. Have a great day. I am drawing insects in this uh, nature journal that I'm doing. The forest floor, hidden forest floor. This is Rosemary's July caboodle, which I will probably carry over into August. There's so much I want to do. But we have done, I'm doing insects found in Nebraska. We've done the kissing bug which is a new insect in Nebraska. They just found it a year or so ago. Uh, the buckeye butterfly, the mosquito, and the last one we did was the American ruby spot damselfly. So I need to go out and find a Nebraska insect to do. Maybe I'll do a beetle. Let's go out. Yeah, come on. Let me go find a beetle, a Nebraska beetle to do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Nebraska insects. Butterflies, bed bugs, aphids. Wheel bug. Let's see, wheel bug. All right. Bug guide. Who published this? Saline County, Nebraska. It was found at Creek which is east of here. This is Iowa State University. I'm going to show you the wheel bug. And I'm going to sketch him. Let me unplug this. Oops. What did I do? Hold on. I got to find him again. Let me go to my history. Now oh, I lost him. Wheel bug. Here he is. I'm going to sketch the wheel bug. This lady said she found it in Crete, Saline County, Nebraska. We're going to sketch him just because he's all black. But he's got a lot of interesting legs out there. 
So that's what I'm going to sketch in here. And I th think I was using this paper to... And I've been sketching with a pen plus gear pen here. Let me get it out. Because it soaks through to the back side. So like I sketched this mosquito here on the front. And here he is on the back. He soaked through. So I'm going to do that same technique through all of these pages here. And so I take care of half of the pages. I do the front and back at the same time. <laughs> now, I guess I'll leave it like that. So I'm thinking, though... I turn this one sideways here. The butterfly is sideways. I think I'm going to sketch this one sideways too in landscape mode. So Kathy, Kimberly said that Kathy Berg is not on this morning. Kathy's on vacation. So I can go later. I can go until quarter till 10. So that's what I'm planning. So I'll probably work in my nature art here. Uh, I should clean off my desk over there. Show you guys what I have in progress. But I still am making those doodle dolls. And I still plan on sending those out to those of you. I know I promised Popo one. I haven't for, forgot you guys. It's just that I get so backlogged with all my bright ideas. That's Dee Dee's fault. Society of Idea Collector. I collect projects. <laughs> I collect projects. But I'm enjoying doing this nature under the forest floor, I really am enjoying doing this caboodle. Rosemary Morris at the Rusty Peacock does a caboodle every month. Now, I don't think I'm going to do next month, though, because it's all about dark shadows, and it's not really my thing. She does have gothic architecture. But I think that what I'm going to do is carry on with my nature. Because I got nature box from Johnny and a nature box from Keisha. And a nature box from Rosemary. And I bought her scroll kit. Where she does these wonderful nature type dolls. I want to do those. So that will keep me all through August. And I want to do a flower book like this, only not a corrugated cover. I have a piece of fabric I want to use. So I might just keep working on nature in August. Okay, I'm going to sketch this guy in landscape mode. And let's see. He's got these big feet here. His head is about in the center, and then he's got a wide. So let's do a head in here. Oh, maybe not that big. And then he's got this really weird. Ooh, what kind of a bug is that that has all this really weird stuff going on up in here? One, two, three. Let's put another one on there. Really weird looking shape up here. And then it comes out this way, kind of, and he's got a leg. Ah, it's weird. He's an ugly bug. He's got a leg coming, a jointed leg coming like that. And then it goes out this way. And it's jointed here. And then it kind of comes this way. That's one leg. And then from his, kind of his head here. 
he's got a, a something coming out this way. It looks like a tongue. It could be like a feeler. It's not really a feeler. And then he's got an antenna coming out this way and this way. And then he's got another leg on the other side of his body that kind of comes up like that. It's a jointed leg. Comes down like that. And kind of a little piece going out like that. And it kind of comes like that may be wrong there. Something like that. And then he's got another kind of a jointy leg coming here. Kind of a hard to see what's going on there. And kind of a little joint on the end of it. Kind of a little piece projecting out. And then there's another one on this side that just you just see parts of it here like that and then we get into his body this has some more he's got a really kind of like looks like a crown almost a really weird piece let me show it to you guys again <clears throat> this bug and if you if you expand this i'm looking at this piece right here it almost looks like he's got a crown, but it's an ugly thing. It's kind of got all these nodes on it. And it's really dark. You can't that's probably why they call it a wheel bug. It almost looks like a wheel. Something. It's an ugly thing. Eek. Looks like a I don't know what I could say. It's got, and then it's got, he's got some kind of, looks like little humps going on in here. All right. So, but we are going to, what I'm going to work on next is this part of his body in here. And it kind of comes out, and I'm going to make it go clear out past the frame. Because it does. Kind of comes out like that, like that, and then it has another piece that kind of comes like that, and it's hard to see what's going on. It looks like there's something going on in here, and then there's this part of the body that comes down something like this. And then he's got a leg that comes up this way. And it's a jointed one and it goes down that way. And he's got another leg coming from, looks like it's, looks like it's coming out from under here. And this one is coming out from under in here. And it comes out this way whoops like that might be a little thick like that and comes way out this way something and then this has kind of black hair it, it's all dark he's kind of got black spots on his wings here And it's all dark in here. I'll darken it. And there's black spots up in here. And this part is all dark in here. And this is kind of a grayish green color in here and his head is dark his head is all dark in there and this is dark his legs are dark he's an ugly bug i'm sorry bug but you're just an ugly creature 
This is all dark. And this leg is dark. Now, before I do this, I want to put in kind of a dark color in there. Let's see, and I put my, what did I do with them? My super tips. I put them all in this little box the other day. And I want kind of a darkish gray brown. Maybe like this. And you know there's something you can do with these super tips. Let me put this aside. Get it off my desk. You can take your super tip and put it on a, a non-porous surface. This is a sheet that come with the Tim Holtz. It's a kind of a a plastic sheet that you can put your super tip on a non-porous surface and then take a paintbrush let's take a, this one whoops not my fan brush take some cleaner water get in there with it and I might have to do more but you can and that's the color I want and color that bug up a little. Make him look pretty ugly. He's an ugly brown and black. Let's do some more. Some more color on there. And yeah, it doesn't look like much, but once you put some water on it and get it on your page, it, it's enough. Let's just kind of make a dark area in there. This is dark because of my page anyway. Now, let me... Find my heat gun. <laughs> oh. He got put off on the floor because I moved my cart. I have to follow the cord. Hold the phone. It'll be dry by the time I get it. Ouch. Now the other thing you can do, if you want it darker, is you can take and and I think I want mine a little darker. You can color on it like that and take your brush and move it around a little. That'll make it even darker if you want it even darker in spots. You know super tips. I didn't know super tips were water soluble. I think it was Janet Baum that said, Mary, you can add water to them. Oh, you can. Woohoo. Okay. 
can see. I don't know if you guys can see how he looks on the back. I might add some dark lines in there later, but let's let's add his dark spots now. Because this is all black. And this is black. Black in here, black in there. All sorts of black spots on this bug. Now, let me go in with the brown again. Actually, it's kind of a greenish brown. Let's add some green to that. And his back is actually, he's actually a bigger bug. He actually comes out like that. But I ran out of space, so we'll just leave him like that. Let's add some, let's add some greenish color in there. Is that dry? And it's getting dry. That's an old one. Oops. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Neri doesn't do things perfect. You guys know that. And this comes out maybe down a little like that. Let's add some of that brownish color in here. He's an ugly bug. Very dark. Very dark, ugly bug. I think this kind of has a definite shape in there. You want to be sure you get your caps on these tight or they can dry out. Let's see, for the... For the... Color around here. I think I'll do a blue. All right, I think let's check him out on the back, see what he looks like back here. He doesn't. I sometimes like the back 
better than I like the front. He's kind of lost his way in here. I'm going to go in and define him a little bit more. Now, see, this is the top of the bug. On this side, he's on the top, but when you flip him over, that actually is the bottom. So it looks a little weird here, but, and his crown, he's upside down this way. He actually would go, let me flip the book. It wasn't so noticeable on the butterfly, but on this bug, now he's the right side up. He looks a little bit better right side up. I'm going to add some of these. I think this is the wheel, why they call him a wheel bug. It looks like he's got a, a wheel on his head or something there. Okay, and then he's got these spots. Set legs coming out. Here and comes down this way. Kind of dark in the darkish in there. This is his head. And then he's got these areas in here. I have all these spots on them. Whoops, kind of went through the page there. This is done on that paper that we boiled, so the structure of the paper has kind of weakened. Yeah, I think I brought his wing down a little here. All righty. Now, let's fix the blue border. The photo references from the University of Iowa. Um, the lady who posted on this said that she found one in Salini County, Nebraska. And it's called a American Wheel Bug. Let's go back and write on here. goes like this. American wheel. bug. And I'll sign it down here. And it's seven. What is today? The 26th. 2022. We're just going to fill this corrugated journal that goes into my 
nature box I did with insects. This insect will have a rose. This one will have to be a light colored insect because look how dark that paper is. Or I'm going to have to do them in white ink. This is paper's been mended. Another rose. So I'm going to do insects. There's plenty of insects in Nebraska. We're getting there. All right. So let's move on and do some more nature art here. Let me come out and look at chat. Let me come out and look at chat. Let's put my ink pens away so I'll have them the next time I want them. I'll just put that one there. Alrighty. I got the heat gun in my lap. Let, let me come out and look at chat, see what you guys are talking about. If you're talking. Carla, she doesn't want to. Mary needs to set up chat as subscriber only. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. YouTube is doing a pretty good job of getting rid of... Hi, Carla. Welcome in. Yeah, I know it's the, the only way to beat bots, but YouTube is taking care of the bots. Um, the ones that came in today, um, Carol said that YouTube... It, it had a special character in it. Um, it had a special character in it. And YouTube is is not allowing special characters in, in the names. But this one slipped in. And Carol said it was because he was created before the rules went in. So I'm sure YouTube will take care of that eventually. I do not want to exclude non-subscribers from my chat. I, you know, I, I don't think that's fair. And I don't want to be intimidated by bots. So, um, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not because I don't think it's a good idea. I know it's, I know it gets rid of bots. I understand that. But I'm not going to be intimidated into doing something I don't want to do by people that are being uh mean you know who who are just out there causing trouble intimidating people bullying people they're bullying and they're harassing and you know that really is against youtube guidelines and youtube will take care of it eventually i have faith it may take them a while and you have to stand up to bullies if you just well you guys are standing up in your own way. And I'm saying you guys, the people who have subscriber chat only, that's their way of standing up to them. And that's fine with me. But I don't want to exclude non-subscribers from my chats. Hi, Carla. And I'm not attacking you. That I know that that's a good way to get rid of the bots. Uh, and Carla, I cannot, you have to, here's another reason why I don't do subscriber only. I'm on mobile. I stream from my phone. The only way that you can set up subscriber only chat is to go, you, you go out to your live control stream. I cannot get to my live control stream from mobile. It's just not an option. They haven't made it in a mobile option. I would have to break out my laptop, I think, and I might be able to get to it that way. I'm not sure. But you have to set it up when you set up your stream. I think you have to set it up when you set up your stream. And, or I don't know if you can get to it afterwards, because I can't get to the live, I can't get to my live control thing. So I'm just, I'm just going to report them.
I'm going to report them. And YouTube has been doing a pretty good job of getting rid of them. We've had several days where we haven't had any trouble. They're looking for ways to get in and harass people. I think it's I think it's uh I think it's harassment. That's what I think it is. Harassment. I really complained to one of the YouTube help members. I you know, I said it's it if we were out there, if you and I were out there harassing people, they wouldn't stand for it. We'd get kicked off YouTube. These people need to be kicked off. All right, I am going to go. Let's see. I was working on the Nature Journal. Uh, I the last thing I did were. Let me get to it. Was my box? I want to make nature. Rosemary did all of these wonderful. Here's the box. We we completed the box. Whoops, that goes that way. It opens up this way. I had it upside down. We've done the box. We've done the pouch. We've done the envelope journal. We've done the flower press. And I did a transparent page that I'm just setting in the bottom. I'm going to take this off the flower press. I don't like these on here. I'm just going to take them off. They aren't staying on there good anyway. And I'll use these for something else. I'll just leave them in there. I don't think I have. I think I took all the flowers out of my flower press. And the other thing I'm going to do this morning is. Uh, where's my little. We've done the field note. I'm still kind of working on that. But I'm not going to work on it this morning. Let's put this down at the bottom, like that, and like that, and like that. See, I'm running out of space. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm, I have Keisha's box, and I have uh, Johnny's kit. We're going to make this a three-tiered box. The pouch really goes up on top of the box, but I put it in there for now. Let me get this fit in there. Come on. Well, get one in there and the other one comes out. What's with this? I think it's... Let's take that out. I want to make a closure for a different closure for that. So that's what I'm going to do next. I have a few things left in here that I'm pressing. Like here's here's a geranium and the dusty miller. They're still a little damp. Here's a lavender sprig. Here's, this was, uh, I think they called it a silver shower. I've never seen one of these vines, but I got it at the Menards, I think, this year. And that is not part of the vine. The vine is this. This is a uh, sweet potato leaf and another flower in there. But what I want, Rosemary did a closure. Uh, let's see what I can do with that. Let me see what my what fabric. I took a lot of my fabrics in the other room. Let's see what I can make a tie out of. Well, I could use that, but let's see what I can make for a tie. Is there enough? I don't think there's enough. These are all felts. Hmm. denim and canvas I actually think what I'm going to do is use this as my tie 
and I'm just going to tie it like so. Uh, well, I think Rosemary, what she did is she attached it. My, my, I guess I could attach it. My pages are sticking together. I haven't, I don't know. I used, uh, did I use Yes Paste? I don't know if that's because of my Yes Paste. I think I did use Yes Paste. They're okay. I think I'm going to put a hole in here. This is, is that cardboard that I used? I used uh, the back of a tablet. <sighs> I'm figuring out how I want to do this tie. I think I'll just make a hole. The flowers are falling out of it. So I'm flipping it back and forth. I think I'll just make a hole on one side and just wrap it around. I think this is cardboard. This is a um, tablet paper, the back of a watercolor pad. So it's really stiff. But can I get through that is the story. And can I get through it enough? The other thing I could do is just wrap it and tie it this way. I don't know if I like that. Mary has to think. Let me plug you guys back in or I'm going to lose you. <laughs> ha. Hold on. Let's see what I want to use. I've got more fabrics down in here. I took a lot of my fabrics out in the other room. I have cut this up. This is just, this is a fabric piece. Ooh, this would be pretty, wouldn't it? Let's not use this. This would go good with that. Let me put this back. I'm going to cut a piece of this border because I've got plenty of it. And we're going to tie it around there. And I'm going to I'm going to get some more things for the flower press. I haven't been out because it's been so hot and then it rained all day yesterday. And this is this is not a throw or anything. I got it for at the thrift store. Um, this is actual fabric. It's not a it's not a throw. I thought it was a throw or a scarf or something. But it's actual fabric. It's a couple yards of it. Oh, and it's pretty. Look how pretty that is. But what I want is some of this border here. I want some of this border. And let's just go clear to the... Let's go clear to it. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to cut right here. And, and we're going to make some tags this morning. I'm going to get out the rosemary stuff. But I want to do this first. Let's just cut this out. You buy this stuff at the thrift store. You can use and use and use it.
I don't know how much I'll need. That's not long enough. I don't think this is a terrible, this fabric is like a crepe. It doesn't have a weave to it. So I can't tear it. And Carla, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. And then I went off on this tirade of subscriber only. That isn't how I wanted to welcome Carla back into my chat. <laughs> Carla, Carla, Carla. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That should be enough. Let's do another foot and then I'll quit. because I might want to use some more of this on something else with the fabric. All right, I'll fold that up later. I'll just put it behind me. And we're just going to... I'd like to... to well, you know what? I don't want to cover up that rose, though. No, I think I will. If I just tie it, if I just wrap it around... Well, actually, the ties are what makes the press, though, I think. Well, you can put it under books. That's another. See, I lose things. Look at how delicate that is. Look how delicate that is. How am I going to do this? We could, we could tuck it on the inside. Maybe it's not staying because it's I glued that to that. Let's let's see if I can tuck it on the inside here. And let's use some carpet tape. Now oh, I don't know if I have any left over here. I don't think I do. Let's get some carpet tape. Ah! I looked at my desk behind me. I'm going, where's my carpet tape? It's here. It's buried. And let's get some of it here. Some release paper. I save all my release papers. And let's see if I can't do this quick. Doesn't have to be perfect. And let's cut this about In half, not quite half. And we'll save that. And we're going to put this. I'm going to put it up here. And I don't know how this is going to work 
my other did not stay, but I didn't use carpet tape. I used Yes Paste. I wasn't happy with that other ribbon. And we're going to take this. Now I want this on the outside. We're just going to put that right there. Like that. I don't care if that flops a little. And then we're going to wrap this around and around. And I think that'll be enough to keep it. And we'll just slip it in the, well, I could slip it up here. Uh, now do I could, but I, let's just put it here. And I'd like to have a piece. I could use one of these butterflies. What do I want to? Well, that would be pretty heavy. Let's see if I can get one of these off here. Right here. Open this up if I can. I got three butterflies left. This was a belt. And can I squeeze that closed again? No, it wasn't that one. It was the other one. Let's just tie this on here. And we can actually tie it. Well, we can call this the front. Turn my butterfly the other way. Come on, get in there. Now, we'll just take this and tuck it in. And this will be the closure here. This will be the closure. So, I'm going to use that as my flower press. And I think that'll be enough. It'll be weighted down. There'll be things on top of it. How, how do I have three sets of scissors out? left out from other stuff okay so that's done now I want to make some tags let's get out Rosemary's what Rosemary did is she put a here I'm gonna have to mark the top of this box she put a file folder up in here and she filled this with tags and things so that's what I want to do next so she has papers. I still have her papers. Let me get them out. Let's put the flower press back in here. Let's take the pouch out and put this in here. 
And I'm not going to close it up because I'll be getting it out again. We're just going to leave it like this for a while. Now let me put this up here. I want to. I want to get her. I have my Christmas box out. Hold the phone. We have all sorts of stuff over here on my desk. I got more nature stuff here I'm reaching for. Papers. Washi tape. That goes to the other box. Her invoice. Some deli paper to play with. All right. Let's see what I want. I want to make tags. So we can make tags out of these leopards. We've got red. We've got this goes to the cowgirl. Floral. There's nature here. These are our words that we're doing with the field notebook. What's in here? We got nature, 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 nature. She sent some of these coin specimen things. We could do those. So floral. Nature. Here's a little thing for tag. More nature. I think she makes a journal out of some of these. Or she used it in her journal. This is paper. These are these are fabrics she sent to um, make the butterfly, the fabric butterflies. We'll come to that. This is my own. We'll come back to the fabric butterfly fairy and fairies. Here's some birds, and then I get into the boiled papers. The scrappy papers here. I'm going to use some of those. Some of these smaller ones. Making tags. File folders. Now some of these larger ones I'm going to save. Come back to those. Nature. This is going to go in a journal. Here's a Victoria magazine. Got I, I was taking, this is a duplicate. I was taking flowers out of here. I think I tore my flowers out. Let's put it down here. This is, came from Johnny. I'm not ready to use that. This is Johnny stuff. I'm not ready to use these yet. These are papers. Paper. Tag, I think I can. Or I could use that for a journal cover, too. And these came from Rosemary Tags. That's my bird stencil. She did fairy cards. And she also did these cards. Here's the fairy, the dragonfly that she makes. We're going to do one of those. She did, here's some bugs. Rosemary sent all of this. She did these index cards. And I think she did them out of file folders. So we'll have to do those. I'm going to do tags this morning. So I'm just looking for images. Images, 
the onion skin. This is wallpaper, I think. I got from Crafty Mamas. And that's a magazine. This was a stamp off page. I'm looking for image. Here's the flowers that I pulled out of the Victoria magazine. Oh God, I got a use for those. All right. Am I done? Oh, we did this. I was testing those pins. You can use that for a tag. Now I did those sunflowers. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let me pull all of this off my desk. And we're going to make tags. I might keep the base paper out here. I'm loving these. Nick some. I can't decide whether I just want to make a tag that way or if I want to cut out the shape. Those would actually, a couple of those would fit on here. Let's do it. Let's cut it this way. And we'll make three three leopard tags and we'll use that. Alright, let's get and we might use this. Let's put this aside. And cut. Do I want to cut or tear? Rosemary would tear. I think I'll tear. I don't know if this came from Johnny or from Rosemary. These leopards. I think they came from Rosemary because Johnny's papers, she rolled them up this time. So I think this, these leopards came from Rosemary. do with that scrap actually it would look kind of nice to now I have to think about it Angie, you are more than the Marines. You do more than the Marines, Kimberly says. Angie said, dish put away, dishes put away, the beds are made, the clothes are folded, the clothes are in the washer, the hair is makeup and teeth are done. I did a little crafting and the trash is taken out. Now I'm sitting down. The rest of the day, the family has done nothing. Oh, the rest of the family has done nothing. Well, Angie, you're going to have to assign them duties. And if they don't do them, they don't get done. If they want clean dishes, they're going to have to wash their dishes. Otherwise, they're going to have to eat off of dirty dishes. <laughs> you didn't wash. You didn't do your chores yesterday. You have to eat off of dirty dishes. 
I do the dishes, but my brother cooks the meals, so I do the dishes. I do, well, he does the dishes out of the dishwasher because the dishwasher is hard to hook up, but I do the pots and pans and let's tear this other one. I think I'm liking these. Um, I need some words. I need some words. Are these, I think these are leopards or jaguars. You think those are jaguars or leopards? Somebody tell me what kind of an animal. I know it's not a tiger. It's either a leopard or a jaguar. I'm thinking they're leopards. Barbara. Good morning, Barbara. Every says, right now I'm going back to lurking. Otherwise, another day will pass and nothing will get done. <laughs> it's cool here in the UK, so that's a blessing. A cheetah? Are they cheetahs, lovely? Lilia, are they cheetahs? Jaguars are all black. Okay, well then they're leopards or cheetahs. Maybe they're cheetahs. I think they might be cheetahs now that, right, Malia, or cheetah, Rhonda says, a leopard or a cheetah. Some of those animals look so much alike, we're going to call them cheetahs. All right, I'm not going to get rid of these. I'm deciding how I want to do this. I think I'll do it like this. Um, make three tags. Put this one down here if I wanted. Let's cut this right about right about in there. This one I think I'm going to do right about there we'll just leave a little green strip we're going to do tags we're going to fill up that box get my trimmer out It's 8.25 here. I've got, I'm going until 9.45, so i got a little over an hour to work on these. Let's see, I'll cut it here first. And then this one, I want to cut here. This one's wider. This one's going to go this way. All right. We'll see what I have here. This is wallpaper. This is wallpaper that I got from uh, Crafting Mamas. And... Let's do one at a time here. I put one like that and shall I bring it all the way down and let this in here maybe up a little bit more or 
I could make a tag tag and put this down at the bottom and then cut the piece. I like that better. I finally got me a glue magazine. I've decided to use this one as a glue magazine. And let's get my palette knife. And a paper towel. And my yes paste. It's good to see you all. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Malia. They just won't leave us alone. Just report him if you can. Pornography. or sexually explicit, explicit material. I don't care about your damn adult site. Go away, leave me alone. Why you think you have to be in here. Thank you, Malia. Thank you, Carla. Excuse me, he's annoying me. YouTube will get him. YouTube will get him. I, I think YouTube is going to take care of him. What did I do with my piece here? YouTube will get him. All right. Um, let's... Uh, Let's do some. Did I have my ink out here? Here. Let's ink up the edges. I want some of the white to show. Let's try some of this yellow oxide and see how that works on here. I think I kind of like that. And I'm going to cut the bottom off. We're going to put this right down in here. And then I'm going to trim the bottom off there.
<laughs> and he says, you tell him, Mary. Annoys me. That's why they're there. They're just here to harass you. It's just nothing but harassment. What you give is what you get. I hope you have a fun-filled day. Oh, I cut the... Well, that's okay. We'll just leave it. I did that upside down. That's okay. It's still a little bit of the green. And then I'm going to put this down in here. And then I'm going to poke a hole and do the side tabs. Let's do it over here. Carol said that the original ones are still around. It's only the new channels that are getting blocked out, but, or the new, I don't know. I think YouTube will take care of that. All right, and let's do this. I kind of like it like that. Let's do that. And then we'll just leave the, I might cut little. Let's do that. Too much stuff on on my desk. I want to fit the page. And see how I didn't get that even? Using Yes Paste, you still have an open time. That you can adjust this stuff if you need to. And let's take my palette knife and get a little glue on this. And let's make sure this is glued down good. I kind of like that. I'll trim off the edge here. I kind of like him. I think I'm going to snip ever so slightly here. And uh, my punch, I think, is out in the other room. I think that's pretty sturdy for a tag. It, 
I might put a piece of paper on the back. How would that look? Kind of make it a little more sturdy. Oh, I don't like that. Uh -uh. Let's grab my... And I'm just guessing. Yeah, we need some ties. some ribbon here. My scissors need sharpened. Amber, she probably needs a home breathing treatment unit, Carla says. What What are we talking about? Amber says she was doing better. Hold on, let me go up here. Amber says, I need a distraction. My mom is in the hospital. They're going to put her in ICU. Oh, Amber. She was having trouble breathing. She has bad asthma and maybe COPD. Her doctor had her on. An inhaler that was helping, but he was retired and she hasn't been able to get a new one. And her insurance said she used the inhalers too much so that they can't prescribe it now. Oh, baloney. Malia says, insurance stuff is horrible. I hate how they don't get what people need. Yeah, Carol said that they are stopping the icons in the new names, but they also need to handle the old names. They need to delete that one off and not allow another one in. They'll get it. We'll keep reporting them. Amber says, she's talking about her mother. She was doing better, but now they are sending her to a different hospital and putting her in ICU because she got worse overnight and they tried to have her walk to the bathroom and that made her oxygen drop. Amber, many thoughts and prayers going out for you and your mother. Jill says, I know what you mean about hospitals and insurance and everything I was severely injured last year after fall, and all they did was keep me overnight and do a whole bunch of tests on me. Malia says, my uncle is in rough shape from COPD. He won't quit smoking. Carla says, Amber, she probably needs a home breathing treatment unit. I forget the official name. It's like the one I used to use in the doctor's office. Amber said they got it back up, but it still wasn't good enough. I guess they did blood work and stuff, and the test came back okay. And they sent her, and they said they did a chex x-ray, but not sure. My dad is at home with her. Amber says, my brother and I are at home. The hardest part is we don't have... A working vehicle right now so transportation is a huge problem well amber we're just saying prayers for you that you would get transportation that you need and that your mother would 
uh, would get through this hard patch she's having with her breathing. And that they'd get this solved for her. I'm reading chat. I'm reading about the issues out there with Amber's mother and Jill's grand grandmother. Carla says, Medicare usually gives you five days, then kicks you out of the hospital unless you are crazy sick. Yeah, I I could go off on another tirade on Medicare and government stuff. Um I just I have to tell you, it broke my heart yesterday. I was reading, um, what is it named, Steve Gardner, and uh, yesterday, and uh, he was talking about, was it Social Security or Medicare or something? Oh, he's talking about the inflation. He was talking about the inflation and how people are having a really hard time the older seniors in the United... Now, I'm not having a hard time because I'm with my brother. And uh, we're in a small town and, you know, we're not having any issues yet. But that's not that way for everybody out there. There's a lot of seniors in our in our country that are, that are getting hit hard with this inflation. I'm looking for a something stiff to put on the back of here. They're getting hard, hit hard with this inflation. And uh, I'm going to just mark this here. And I was reading the comments and it just broke my heart. It broke my heart to see some of the things that these people are going through that are commenting on Stephen's you know, it just you know, they're just not making it. And this inflation is, is hitting them hard. Let's put this in here. I want to strengthen the tab here. So it will be. And it just, it breaks my heart. Because, well, for one thing, I have to say, and I tell my brother this. I tell my brother that if I... If I couldn't live here, I'd be homeless. There's no way that anybody's going to give me a job at age 70. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm still able to work, but, you know, in their mind, I'm an old lady. And Social Security is not going to cover everything, you know, that you need. And so I'm very fortunate that I have my my brother lets me stay here. And I can go and, you know, he lets me have full control of this room in here for my art. He doesn't complain about it. He's a pretty laid back guy as far as that stuff goes. I mow the lawn for him. I contribute what I can to the groceries and that. I pay pay for the oops that isn't going to stick for a while hold on let me poke a hole in this i tribute i contribute what i can to the groceries and every month i give him a little money he doesn't need it but he he uh it's my way of contributing But there are people out there who don't have an older brother and they're hurting. And the more inflation goes up, the more they hurt because, you know, just because inflation doesn't go up doesn't mean it, this is what I don't understand. Inflation goes up. Your Social Security does not go up. But if they give you a raise, a cola raise, then then everything else, you know, you have a problem with uh, Medicare and all of that other stuff because you're all of a sudden don't qualify some for some of the and that's one thing they were talking about 
they gave me a raise in Social Security, but I don't qualify for another program because I'm making too much. <laughs> so I don't know. My heart went out to those people who were having, and, and there's a lot of people out there hurting. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to put some ink on it. And I hate to say it, a lot of our senators understand and sympathize, but there's a lot of our senators and our Congress who just don't get it. They try to help, but they don't get it. People are hurting. They're sending money across the ocean and not taking care of us. Now, I don't know. Mary's on her tirade here. All right, we did our leopard, uh, jaguar, whatever he is. Not a jaguar. What it was the other thing that Malia said he was? A leopard and a... What was the other animal? I can't remember. I went into my tirade. I'm happy with him, though. He's going to go in my tag box. Let's move on to something else. Besides leopards, even though I got those two out, let's use, let's use some, let's use up some of these images. This will make a pretty tag. Oh, what's on the other side? There's a butterfly. We could use that. <sighs> We could use these. Then she gets into these fairies. Let's cut that out. Let's get that out. Some stickers. Birds. Take some of the tear torn pages here. Okay. Uh, I saw one I wanted to do. Let's use. Let's use this. And oops. Angie says, I help my mom. My brother doesn't do nothing but give her. $80 for food, and that's all. And he's trying to get the house when she dies. So I'm going to be homeless. Well, maybe he won't get the house, Angie. He, ha he She hasn't, she's not dead yet. Let's use some text. Let's use that bird. A bald-headed tumbler, a nun below. I don't know what this one is. A long-faced tumbler. I'm going to use this as a journal spot. I think. Even though it may not be about this bird. And we're just going to. Well, I'm kind of fortunate in that 
Nebraska is kind of, I mean, it's not that we're not hurting here because our prices go up too. But I don't think anybody in this community is going to starve. Uh, we have a lot of farmers in this area. We won't starve because we have a garden, but I won't starve. But there are a lot of people out there in our American culture that aren't making it. And a lot of seniors, and that's what they were talking about on Steve's channel. We got a Social Security increase this year, but inflation went up so much that the increase is just kind of got gobbled up by the inflation prices, you know, and a lot of seniors have health issues to deal with and this is talking about herons. my text let's tear Carla says unfortunately if you do not complain and fight for what is deserved people will just get walked over and end up with nothing i truthfully believe that is true sometimes if you don't you know you just you gotta raise a stink you gotta raise a stink i'm kind of liking this but let's take this and let's do this trick. Ooh, look what's on the back. Let's do it this way. Do I wanna, yeah, I wanna do it this way. This is where some of my gold paint on another sheet stuck to this. I'm going to use it. And where's my text? That's not it. What happened to my text?
My heart goes out. My heart goes out. There are a lot of There are a lot of people that are suffering right in our own country. And we send so much money, not saying that the money isn't, you know, not, but I truthfully believe we need to help some of our people in our own country. My, uh, that guy who was helping me, and I appreciated his help, he was helping me get dental insurance. But he wanted me to sign up for Medicaid just because if I fall or something, I don't have insurance. And uh, he was thinking I should sign up for Medicaid, but I don't need it now. And well, you might need it. And I'm sitting there going, I don't need it. I, you know, I'm not going to sign up for something I don't need. I'll sign up for it if I need it. <laughs> I never did sign. I tried to, and I just couldn't make myself finish the application. All right, let's, let's put some ink on this. I couldn't make myself take the money that I don't need. I needed dental insurance. I, he helped me get that. And I'm happy with my policy so far. We'll see how that works out in the long run. All right. I'm going to put this in here, I think. Coming back to these. See where I'm going. Maybe I'll go up a little. Thank you, Carla. You're just not leaving us alone today. Not leaving us alone today. Clean up on aisle five. Probably some of that people we sent money to. <laughs> Clean up on aisle five. Thank you, Carla. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't need medical attention until you need it. That's true. But why should I take all that money from people who do need it? 
And then not only that, you have to justify it to the government. Every year you have to probably be evaluated. And I just don't want to go through all that crap. Not unless I have to. Personally. And I just personally hope I never have to. I'm going to take my towel and kind of rub on this. This is Distress Oxide. Okay, we're going to put this in here. And this one. Yeah. Up in there. And let's flip the page here. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. And, uh... Thank you, Carla. Clean up on aisle five. Harassing me. They're just harassing me. And you. Thank you, Rhonda. And Carla. YouTube, when you report them, YouTube will see this. YouTube will get them. YouTube will get them. They, they, uh, done pretty good with getting rid of folks. Did I get them all?
you know, it isn't just me he's harassing. They'll be going to other channels and there will be enough people complaining. There'll be enough people complaining that YouTube will do something about it. That's what happened with the others. Somehow this guy is sneaking in. There'll be enough people saying, get rid of the crap. Let's see. Did I get them all? No, there's some more here. Clean up on aisle five. <clears throat> aisle five must be a liquor aisle or something. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for your patience. Thank you for your patience. This one isn't dark enough for me. I need some more dark border. They don't bother me early in the morning. It's they they're they're too lazy to get up at 4:30 in the morning. Don't give them any ideas, Mary. But it's, it's when I stream later in the day. So all the day people will get hit. People. Don't have anything constructive to do with their lives. Got a bunch of. If I can get it out. Hold the phone. Get my scissors. threads here that I can use. No, I'm not going to untangle this whole mess. I just want I want this thread out of here. Oh, let me go on mute. Okay, if they don't get you, hold it a minute. I got to check on something. I'm okay. We'll use this for something. I like how clumped up it is. But I got this out. And I want to use a piece of that and a piece of this. Mm 
maybe about like that. Did Randy come in? Hi, Randy. Randy Rabbit. Welcome, welcome. Randy, she was reporting the trolls. Yeah, I was reporting trolls, spammers. One snuck by the rules. They do that enough. YouTube will. They do that to enough channels. YouTube will. Will get wind of it. They were harassing Barb Owen one day. When she was out there with her son in California. They were harassing her. Uh, harass the wrong people and they're going to get in trouble. All right. I'm liking this. That's my second tag. I did a tiger tag and I did this one. What happened to my tiger tag? Here's my tiger tag. Or leopard or what did you call this? <sighs> Keep forgetting the other. Look, it's got a. It's got a white and black tail up at the top. It's not a jaguar, a leopard, or a... Mary, thank you for letting me talk this morning. <laughs> Angie, you're always welcome to talk in this stream. Let's play with this mess, and let's do something on here. Let's just make a, a tag. Let's see, I had a I had a big strong piece in here. Where was that? This one, Tim Holtz piece. And hmm, let's get a piece of that. Did I have some dark, dark, dark paper here? Here. If I can get it out. Let's play with this. Let's. All right, you can do that. I don't care. This is the back. This is just some leftover uh, one-inch tape of Mrs. Sparkles that I got at Joann's. And let's put let's put a a scrap piece here. And just tear at it if it'll stick in there. And the same on the back here. Yeah. Just to keep it while I'm working. And let's get a piece of this. On here <sighs> tell you that the string wants to hold on to stuff And then we're going to put this on that. And 
let's see i want this to come up further i want this torn to show down here let's flip it no we're not going to flip it let's tear this Looks like I got a number one stuck on there. Just like that, maybe. Now, I'd like something stuck in there. Maybe a piece of that text or any text that I tore here. Some words. Like this. Now I'm a little afraid that this tag is going to be too big for my box. Because my box is only... <sighs> Let me measure. I think I'm going to have to cut this down a little. My box is only about about seven or eight inches. So let's tear this right in here. Right, right in here. Oh, and that will get rid of the Most of the white there. And where's my words? Like that. Thank you, Kimberly. Clean up on mile five. You know, every time he does that, he's getting reported by me and whoever else wants to. He's just causing trouble for himself. Hi, Nikki King. Bye, Rhonda. Have a great day. I don't sell my work, no. Mostly, Nikki, I can't keep up with selling stuff. If you're talking about me, I don't sell my work because um, I just can't keep up with that business. It, I would have a bad reputation if I sell, sold my work because I can't even get happy mail out. Uh, I'm, I do this for, well, YouTube is kind of my, you know, if you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, that, I benefit from that, and so do other channels, so when you visit channels, and you see somebody's art, not just mine, if you see art that you like, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, because that really does help us. And come back. Don't, you know, come back. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, you know what? It goes this way. A lot of you do come back. But the more you participate and, and comment and that, the more credit, the more visibility we get. The more visibility we get. And that really helps our channels. Now I'm going to put this in here. I am working on... Uh, a Kabuto, Rosemary Morris at the Rusty Peacock, does these, she calls them kit, Kaboodles, like Kit and Caboodle, and she sells kits. And the one I'm working on now is what she did for July, which was the nature one. And uh, 
that's what I'm doing now. I'm just making tags to put in the box. Hi, Marty. Good morning, Marty. Hi, Shannon Pratt. Good morning. Randy says, hello to all I missed, and I echo the sentiment. Hello to all I missed. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to put my glue on this. I don't know how that's going to work because it's pretty shabby. Um, what we did on these papers that I, like I'm working on now is Rosemary showed us how she makes, she calls them crunchy papers. And what she does is she mixes up all of her leftover sprays and and any inks that she has that she doesn't want anymore. And she makes this liquid. And then she'll take envelopes. She'll take whatever papers that she wants to use. And she'll layer them with uh, like old leaves and plants and fauna and all of that. And she'll put all this inky liquid that she's made over them. And then she'll put them in the oven and cook them for like 15 or 20 minutes until it's changed. She says it changes the structure of the page. You don't have to leave it in there too long. And then she puts them outside to dry. <laughs> and you get these real interesting crunchy papers. You might know Rosemary. I'm just talking to somebody like they've never met Rosemary. And a lot of people who watch my replays haven't. So I like Rosemary's and she calls them her kits that she, she sells them. And she I, It amazes me that she gets so many done every month. And she she sells them and uh they're real popular out there people but she's gonna do her one for next month is called dark shadows and it's more off of the old soap opera dark shadows but i tell you people are loving it all right i think i'm gonna take this no i better not i might just better put this down with yes paste because that sticky stuff will come out let's Let's rub some yes paste over this, kind of in the center. I want this to be a shabby, a shabby tag. And we're gonna put an image on it, but let's get this put down. And it's going to stick. I'm going to put paper over that. Then I'll have to glue the paper. So I need an image. I could do a bird. What else could I do here? I need a... What did I do with them? I put them over here. Put my images over here. I could do the butterfly. an interesting one. And these are the fairy ones. I'm leaning toward this, this one, even though he's kind of torn. He's, he's got that color in there that adds a pop of color. But now I'm deciding how I do I want. I think I'm going to fussy cut him and leave this torn edge here. Let's 
but you know he's got his antenna up in here I don't know if I mess up my butterfly on the back I, I have more butterflies than I have interesting bugs Now, what I really like on this, and I might be able to do it because this is going to be hard to glue down on there, is a transparent. And I thought I saw one in here. Oh. Let me get this stack of papers out again. This is what we play with. I'm looking for my transparent page. That's not it. Rosemary sent some moss and some Kind of a bark paper. There's a, I saw it in here. Probably be down at the bottom. The wallpapers. Here it is. That's what I want. I'll put the rest of this back until I'm ready for it. I want to put, I think I want to put him in here, in a part of this. And that will help keep the, the stringy stuff. Although I like some stringy stuff, but we're just going to use that as texture in the background. And I think I'll staple this on. And cut it off at the top. Thank you, Kimberly. That's a lot of stuff you've got there. Yeah, I can do now. And I haven't even broken into Keisha's and Kimberly's yet. This is all from Rosemary. This is all Rosemary's doing. Let's cut this. Gosh. <laughs> oh, they're ribbing on my scissors. What time is it? It's 9.32. I'm only going until 9.45 here. 
Now, I could put something else in there. I'd like to have... See, I'd like to have some twigs. Um, I could also put one of my pressed flowers in there. Let's, let's see what I have. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to the book. Let me see what I have in this big book. Yeah, I don't want to... Let's see what I have in here. Ooh, see? Pressed flower and a leaf. They could go in there. Ooh, here's the sunflower. He could go in there. He's pretty dry now. Let's just get those. We'll leave the rest. I'm going to go out today if the sun keeps shining and get some more. So, this sunflower will actually... He's nice and dry. I was drawing those sunflowers and then I was doing the paper and Riri said, why don't you just put the sunflowers in there? All right, but where am I going to put it? Here? And maybe I have too many pressed flowers out. Oh, dear. Let me get them off my finger. Let's do... Let's do the sunflower first. And let's put the bug on top of him. Like that. And then let's grab this one. And put in here. We're going to staple this all shut. Right there. Put that up there. My bug has to get straightened out. Now let's see what I have up here. I got this leaf. Let's put it down in here. Hopefully this will stay. And I've got a lavender sprig. All right, let's close this up if I can get my sticky fingers off of it. And we're going to staple. With the little Tim Holtz mini attacher that Laura Vasquez sent me. Staple it here. I don't care if some strings hang out. We'll start with the the bug. And what happened to my leaf? Did it fall down? Where did I oh I put the leaf down there? That's okay. And let's staple the sunflower. Let's staple up in here. And let's staple there. That kind of caused the. I think it'll be okay. I don't want the flowers to move around in there. And I don't think they will. I think they're pretty secure. But my cellophane kind of moved. Ah, hold on. I don't mind if there's strings hanging out. Does it look like a bug is hidden in the in there? I kind of like that. Let's put some staples around around the edge here just in case. I can't see for the, the light kind of shines on the, but I think he's hidden in there enough. I'm kind of liking him. Now, let's grab this and make a hole where that paper was right in there. Make a big old hole. And let's grab some of this. And... 
some of that other. I don't have, yeah, I have some left. And this will probably be the last one that I'll get to do. I'll come out and chat for a while because I'm going to, I'm going to uh, sign off at 945. Uh, I might have to come in the other way. So I can see where the hole is. That isn't going to hold. Hold on. We need another staple in here. And look what's on the back. It's Tim Holtz stuff. Peace and love. And there's a box of something in there. Some instruction things on making tags. Now let's grab this and this. Now hold on. And we're going to put it through here. If and I can stuff it through there. And this is going to be in the box anyway. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. And do I want to put a second tie on that? Oh, your volume was turned down? Well, I did go on mute. I did go on mute, but I think I unmuted it. When the phone rang, I turned it on mute. Now, just for the... I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to put some... Inky ink around the edges here where the paper shows through. Should have done that first. Just kind of grunge it up a little. I don't think it'll stay on that cellophane. Let's grunge up the back. Kind of inked out the instruction set there. Leave the picture in there. Kind of a shag, shabby tag, but I'm liking it. There's an insect in there. He's crawling on. He's getting that sunflower. And there's, there's a. Oh, my sprig. I think I. Well, it's it's kind of hanging this way, but that's okay. You get the idea. I'm kind of liking it. I'd like to have something in there. Like that, maybe. Let's let's do that real quick here. We're just gonna staple it on. If I can find my stapler, <laughs> I get to working on this stuff, and boy, I'll tell you, stuff gets buried. Stuff gets buried. The lid back on my glue while I'm thinking of it. Uh, 
Okay. So, what did I do today? I drew my insect. I, uh, oh, I went clear through my, oh, we did the books from the secret room. We did uh, a big flip of my Society of Idea Collector. That took up a lot of time. I was afraid I was going to bore you guys silly doing that. And uh, we made tags. I redid my uh, closure on my flower press book. Let's leave this out. Let's take these. I'm going to take these and put them over here. We're going to be making more tags. I try to mix it up. I'm going to clear my desk off a little here. Let's take these and... I think the next thing I want to do is Rosemary's. She did some moths and butterflies out of these fabrics that she sent. Um, I might do that tomorrow morning. I want to finish my Santa Claus from last week from our... I'm just getting this stuff off my desk so that we can have some room here to... <laughs> to actually see things. It's horrible how things get stacked up. All right. Put those there. There's just so much to do. We did these. We did these two tags. We did the jaguar. Leopard. There's something other animal. I have spots, not a tiger. There's another animal. I keep forgetting him. And we did this bird one. We did this insect one. Let me show you where they're going to go. There's a pouch. These tags are going to go in here in the lid of this box. Just like that. Oh, it fits. And... The second one is stitched, so I have to put it in the first one. And I'm going to make some more tags. Rosemary filled this whole thing up. I've got tags. I'll be making two and a half inch by six or something to put in here. Here's the insect that we drew this morning. It was a... Uh, oh, let me get it untied here. We drew our insect this morning. It was a American wheel bug. <laughs> He's crawling across the page. And I draw him with uh, permanent ink and it soaks through to the other side. So I actually get two pages for one drawing. The last time we worked in this, we did a American Ruby Spot Damselfly. There, I'm using insects in Nebraska. We did the Damselfly. We did the Mosquito. We did the Buckeye Butterfly and the Kissing Bug. So I'm just going to keep doing bugs. I want to do a flower book like this. And we went on a nature walk. We went on a nature walk, and we have a whole bunch of things that we saw on our nature walk, and I'm putting those in there, but I also want to do a book like this. So I'll be working on this for quite a while. We made a new closure for my flower press here. So, let's see. I think I'm going to leave that like this, and you know what? That tape is not going to hold this folder. I'm going to have to secure this with a strong glue. But I think I'm going to put these out here for my thumbnail somehow, like so. Does that show the, maybe bring it down a little. So we've been busy this morning. Thank you all for coming. It's 947. Thank you guys for putting up with the, the spammers. Yeah, and, and we're not done. 
we're not done. I still have uh, Junk Journal Shop's Nature Box and Keisha's Nature Box and and Rosemary's Scroll to do. And I want to do the the fairy, the cloth fairy, and her fairy dolls. We'll be working on this into uh, into August. Yep. I want. I want to. I think I'm going to put the flower book book in this. I mean the flower journal in this pouch. I'm going to make it smaller. The envelope or the envelope journal. I think was supposed to go in here, but it's too big. So today is Tuesday. Um, Kathy Berg is not on today. That's why I could go a little later. I usually only go until 9 o'clock uh, Central. Uh, um, I don't know if Tanya and Lisa are going to be on this afternoon. I don't know their plans. But sometimes they come on on Tuesday and Thursday afternoons around 2 o'clock. If they're not on, there'll be somebody popping on. And uh, then Beth Schuler comes on tonight at 6 Eastern. I will be back on tomorrow morning. Uh, I won't be streaming as long tomorrow morning. And uh, Dee Dee comes on at 8.30 Eastern tomorrow morning. So have a great day. Go out and enjoy the beauty of this world. There is so much beauty in this world. Go out and enjoy it. Thank you, guys. Can you show us that secret room of books, Mary? Oh, do you want to see that now? Um, I can show you again, but I, I'd have to move my cart and everything. Kitty Jen, remind me the next time you see me on. Remind me earlier in my stream. And uh, I'll move the cart and take you in there. It, I have maybe, I've been pulling boxes out of it. I maybe have maybe five or six boxes left in there. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much for popping in, Carla. Okay. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Carla. When am I on again? I'll be on tomorrow morning at uh, 4.30 in the morning until 7.30 Central Time. Dee Dee comes on at seven uh, 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central. So I am not, I don't stay on late on Wednesday mornings, but I'll be on later on Thursday morning. Bye.